I. Oh yeah, I also had uh, Chinese Zimbabwe. Yes, that is. Oh, I immediately get a revolt. Thank God, just first unrivaled. tick. First tick of the game, I get a revolt. How revolting. Up See, yeah. how are my ships doing at the moment? I am at 145. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. I was pouring literally all of my money into making uh, China just entirely be universities. It's another revolt. What's going on? Uh, I'm at zero. No, I'm at plus, plus three. I'm at plus three stability. I don't get why I'm getting all these revolts. Uh, different culture, different religion. They'll still want to revolt at least once or twice anyway if they're newly conquered land or mm. otherwise have anger involved. Um, overextension and bad religious unity. You're still calling so land. So I want Gujarat. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can fabricate on Gujarat because if I can declare on them, I can get stuff from Bengal. Without having you don't to the Bahmanis. Border Gujarat though. Yeah, but I have a coastline. They have a coastline. That's not how coastlines work. You have to share a sea zone unless you mean a different nation besides Gujarat. Have counting houses at the moment. No. Who are you actually trying to fight, Chaos? I want to fight Bengal. Oh, okay, so. I would like to have Bengal as my primary trade node, and if not Bengal, then Samarkand. Yeah, there's no way you can fabricate around that. Because you would have to share a sea tile with Gujarat to just fight Gujarat and Bam Gujarat, Bamadis, and Bengal. And uh, all of their sea tile sea zones are in a single sea tile. Um, the only thing I can say is in seven years, we will have imperialism unlocked. Which then allows you to declare war on anyone in the world. And actually take it for cheaper. Because it doesn't take hundreds and hundreds of diplomatic power for fabricating a single claim on Majapa. I mean, what? I was poking fun at you, Daft. You were supposed to say something. I uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention at all. I do apologize. I had a <laughs> had a big stream of events pop up and uh, dealing with rebels. Something about me not attacking Majabah Heat, right? Or uh, no, uh, I, no, I did. Uh, I, was, I was just poking fun at you, annexing a whole nation off of a single claim, so it takes oh, like, uh, as much diplomatic power as it does admin power to core it. Why won't the first humanists? Like, the last one is kind of bad at this point, but plus 25% religious unity is quite good. Uh, it's only good if you need it. It looks like you're doing pretty well at converting all of that land anyway. I am, actually. And it's at, it's at 89 at the moment. There's not much more. Uh, that I have to convert myself. Uh, let's see the subjects. Actually, there's a lot of stuff here, but... Looking at uh, Cambodia, they're having a bigger problem. I actually might want to... Um... Wait, Baikoku, you are the right... Yushinto, 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 good. Um... Yes. But the question is actually, do I want to go religious for once? Because those extra missionaries... I have to convert all of North America at some point, right? So... You don't have yeah, you can... You can turn on the ability to see... Exactly, and it's... And that's indeed a lot of... 
a lot of areas that need conversion. Even and I'll only so, get more. Even more so if we go through the plan of attacking Portugal, because a large exactly. amount of what we would get from Portugal is uh, probably going to be Mexico, actually. Yeah, actually, I think I'll go, I'll go uh, religious for once here. See how that goes. Exchange. There you go. Okay. Well, most of China, not all of it, but a good chunk of it, is getting at universities. Should also get some of those up. I'm here investing in an army instead. What's it that looking like at the moment? I kind of want to reform the Empire of China, but I honestly don't see 0.05 monthly autonomy change being worth going back down the 20 mandate and having so much devastation over in Africa that it's going up by 0.03 a month. Yeah, that's a bad time. And the fact that my ruler is petty, which doesn't help either. I mean, I'd love the thing after that, which is 10% cheaper core creation cost, and then uh, the thing after that is plus one monarch administrative skill, but just difficult to justify right now. Oh yeah, I was going offensive as well. With Russia, so in discontent, like you think you own this place. Yeah, once the AI gets the ability to do all of that stuff, they'll just constantly do it, unless you have a diplomat doing counter-espionage, basically for the rest of the game. And even then, it'll still sometimes get through, to the point that I just shrug it off. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter, what's my... Rebel risk is really... Er, er, all of those problems are basically in... Uh, that's actually not true, coaching and stuff. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, so... Friggin' Bengal, stop sowing discontent, you jerks. I think I'd university my cold provinces so, here. Weird little question. But if I have someone who I want to declare war with, who is uh, allied with my tributaries, normally I can't declare one a tributary, but I can have a tributary be a primary opponent. So I can apparently get around that by just attacking them when they're allied to them. Let's see who's keep I'm allied with. Shirvan, Kazakh, Afghanistan, and Delhi. Yeah, oddly, I think that's actually 100% true. And Afghanistan is allied with Oman, Kazakh, and Kiva. There's like no reason why I shouldn't just co belligerent Afghanistan in this war.
Man, I sure do love looking at all of this land that I conquered from Kilwa and realizing they didn't build a single freaking manufactory in anywhere that had good resources. It's you. How good is that pro- Oh, this is a really good one. What's that? We could make a lot of money off of this ivory? Nah, no, we're- yes, Build- Build a conscription Go center. Get that plus one force limit. <laughs> A treasury is empty, my lord. Build more army. I got the divine wind. Finally. Kamikaze time. Korea. Finally. Invade Manchuria. Finally. Sabayana intervention. All provinces in the Okhost area. In the what do I get from that? Siberian boon. That's okay. So let's see. Okhotsk. Oh, basically one promise from Russia, and then I clear the next mission. Yeah, just just the one province from Russia. I can't duplicate trade. You have my oh, uh, you have heavy ships. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's get the best of coal provinces with the universities. So is uh, this where I mentioned I realized that it's actually really, really cheap to convert the culture of territories that are counted as overseas provinces? So I've slowly been converting the culture out of Africa. Oh my god. <laughs> Lou. So this is Lou. Really cursed way of saying Lou too. Like all of my territories I've conquered, it's like, oh, 19, uh, and, uh, bleh, words, 19 diplomatic power to convert a 10 development territory to my culture. Hmm. A little bit difficult to say no to that. Oh yeah, I recalled the other problem with fighting Portugal. They're allied with France. Or France guaranteeing their independence for some reason. Probably because France hates me and they see me as a threat to Portugal. Oh, well, we don't need to fight like uh, Russia anyways, who's also allied with France. So I guess we'll just fight France, whatever basically happens. I forgot to get all too. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> <laughs> Just fight France on the land during the Age of Absolutism, where they have French musketeers. That's a great idea. For everyone else, uh, French musketeers means that they have yeah, a lot of morale, 20, right? Something. Twenty percent extra land fire damage during the Age of Absolutism. And Age of Absolutism ends a little bit later than 1700, right? Yeah. I'm so close to getting Absolutism up here. It's really annoying. What's up, my fellow Absolutists? Did I change my government back now, actually? I could just get a good royal decree now. I'll, I'll wait a bit. I'll wait a bit. I really like stage general. It's just... Oh yeah, that's right, I was also colonizing out here since I uh, got out here. Okay, so let's spread some... 
universities throughout my nation. Chang Shang is trying to get itself killed. Diplomatically insulting me several times. <laughs> My gosh. Well, they have to the guarantee of your allies, so they're like. You're not gonna well, mess he's... with me, are you? Your allies like, like, um, like Tang. <laughs> because we all know that Tang loves. Uh, loves Chang Shang. Well, it's there. because they're a babbling buffoon. They're just like. Ah, yes, Tibet. East. Uh, Western China is such a great place, isn't it? <laughs> well put. Well, that's weird. I should drank the one coffee first. I ordered two, so yeah, that's not okay. Man, these Tibetan monasteries are pretty great. They're uh, they're adorable. The, yeah, they're. They're a little bit smaller and cozy than the ones over in Cambodia, but in the, the shine on those statues, there's not really a whole lot of shine on there, but it, it doesn't hurt my eyes at all, so that's pretty nice. It, <laughs> just in, casually insulting everything, thinking it's a compliment. <laughs> I really like how you've done so much with so little. <laughs> Like I'd never have, I'd never have the guts to be able to do what you're doing right now. Like, can you imagine? Well, this is like one Shinto nation in the world, I think. Well, I guess my my vessels count, I guess. So I'm but... sending thirty thousand yep. guys off to deal with Oman because they're the one guys who are keeping this war going on. Oman, that's pretty obnoxious. Yeah, I hope they can't blockade me in Hormuz, or else I'm going to be very embarrassed. Um, they very well could. <laughs> I don't think they have a fleet. I'll be safe. I'm gonna march 30,000 guys over. I mean, considering it looks like uh, even the Omani don't like Oman. Yeah, they're, they're not good. big fans of themselves. Friggin' Omanis, they ruined Oman! It's still a nation I need to try to try again because they're one of the three starting nations that are uh, Ibadi, with the uh, laudable and easy to access goal of uh, converting every single Muslim province in the world to Ibadi. Solid. Wait, Mexico's primary culture is Pueblo. That is fine. And it's not. It actually makes sense because they basically it was basically like carved out of native tribes and just it's established. Oh, by the way, uh, two boats have indeed trapped uh, eighteen thousand guys in Hormuz. <laughs> I told you, I knew it was going to happen. Uh, I'm going to send my boats over to fight it. Are you stepping to me, Oman? Is, am I going crazy, or did Tibet change color slightly on map? I think I'm going crazy. Uh, I think, that's I think just you are slightly going crazy. It's like it went from white to slightly greenish off-white, but maybe just where your color is spreading into different areas of the map. Um, I think that's it. Spreading away from the mountains, which... Yeah, yeah, I can see it now. It's mountains that bring out the whiteness of uh, your color. That sounds things racist, you now. Only, things you can only say. <laughs> <laughs> Just Pardon me. go for the casual. It's like, but not in the racist way. <laughs> uh. Let's uh, do it like this.
Diplomatic insult from Chang Chang. Wow. Fish your dog, sir. Uh, how did how did I get an imperial imperialism cause a spell against the world? Uh, because you accepted diplomatic tech four years ahead of time. Oh, wink, wink. okay. Wow. Wink, wink on the uh, forty percent extra cost. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I had a modifier, so it's like the last, because I uh, had the event about investing in naval force, so I brought it down to 30-something, I thought, well, I might have that. That modifier lasts 10 years, so... Oh, so can't we... you, you could develop land to make yourself richer. Yeah. Well... That's actually a bad war, I think. Because now these become a Hugo and they can't call it. <laughs> Oops. Now I actually really want to fight Portugal because I made an oopsie with my uh, subjects here. <laughs> well, I, I uh... like the land. I would be very happy to join a war versus Portugal. There's, there's various things I can grab from them um, in uh, Indonesia. So, uh, yeah. Papua New Guinea. Well, where is my armies? I'm going to need to... Uh, basically, trust any re rebels that happen to pop up on the mainland be resolved by you guys, because I would have to put my entire army over in Africa. Right, yeah. yeah I, I, need, saying... uh, I need to move France. my troops, but uh, I am uh, I'm moving my troops to the new world. It will take a while, as always, you know. But... Uh... <laughs> Did you say France is allied with Portugal? Because it looks like that's no longer a thing. Uh, they, they are allied with... Guaranteed, oh, guaranteed. independence, yeah. Uh, okay. You will be moved. And uh, we can't really pull that away from them. Mm. Because we would have to siege enough of France to get 10% war score against them, which is not going to happen because we'd have to go to the mainland. I do feel the need to ask, though, Daft, are you actually converting all of that land that you have? Um, slowly, yeah. I've got two missionaries for a while, uh, due to my parliament. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to do it <laughs> strategically, either, either going for the most high development provinces, or creating solid areas of Theravada, which might be less likely to rebel. Um, yeah. yeah. Is, is there a downside to convert things to religion? Um, no, I was just curious because of course, looks while you do way. it, it will it will cost money, of course, and it will raise unrest a little bit. Yeah, I have noticed that they tend to rebel more often. But yeah. uh, it's a plus six unrest in the local territory. And yeah, it's it's not not unmanageable at the moment. So. See what you did there. Yeah, that was on the news again today. I was 
I was watching um, Al Jazeera news, and they had a segment about... Uh, is that Ottawa? Right, is that Ottawa that's been... Brought, it's uh, brought to a standstill for like eight days now. Meanwhile... Oh, right. Yeah, meanwhile all the people there are cleaning up after themselves and building soup kitchens for each other. Because they're expecting to be there for a while. Uh... That depends on the new that you actually saw. <laughs> <laughs> Um, by the way, Hobo, uh, I have the option to make an alliance with um, Madagascar, uh, or uh, Antimoro, as they call themselves. Would that be g getting in the way of your plans, or and or anyone else's plans? I do probably want to uh, actually force them into tributary ship eventually. Okay. Um, so. The military doesn't seem... Terrible, although it's a bit behind in tech. Uh, yeah, I just need to fabricate a claim on them to be able to fight them, and then I can enforce tributary. Or wait for a couple years for imperialism, one of the two. Because I kind of just don't... I mean, I kind of want the land, but at the same time, it's an island that I'd have to go kill various rebels on, because mm. they're technically like four different nations there. Well, Although I guess those nations have kind of faded away at this point. Would it make sense for me to ally them for now? Because if I, eh. if I remember correctly, I can break your lines with no repercussions, basically. Um, I, other than I, giving I, guess what's, I guess what's the point of allying them at the moment? Uh, I thought it might be useful in fight against Portugal, etc. As They're, the Portuguese colonies are right there. You'd have to wait 10 years to get enough favors for them to want to. Yeah, well, I mean... No, they're, not, they're not rivaled with them, so they don't really yeah. have a reason to fight Portugal. Well... I mean... Like, yeah, when, it'd be a good idea for basing an extra four, extra ships, but they're... It's just they straight up wouldn't join in without enough favors to, and they yeah. solidly wouldn't have enough... I mean, when when were we planning to fight Portugal? Because it sounds like it's not me. In the I am uh, doing like as as quick as I can. I'm moving my army to like um, across the Pacific. Okay. When I have that, I will be. Uh, you know. it takes a long time. We have to go through Russia first. Like. Three years is actually a good uh, waiting time. I basically just hope the north can hold. So Portugal is allied to... Um, to Spain, right? Yes. Spain and Pebble State states. Yeah. Although... So I will see a big Thunderdome in uh, North America that takes forever again, but that's honestly fine. I have uh, reached critical... critical development mass. Jesus Christ. This is a 16 development territory. And I will post it in the Discord. 
I forgot how much cheaper it was for developing a capital city, because that, that's been the capital the whole game. Jesus Christ. Is it that much cheaper? What's my capital at the moment? Yeah, mine cost like 182. That's crazy. Uh, even an even a uh, ten development province still only costs eighteen because of the prosperity, university, farmlands, full economy. Kind of wish I did innovativeness more, but innovativeness is a really weird and uh, not always functional concept. Like, do you want to spend? All of the power you would have spent developing just to make development a little bit cheaper? Wait, I think... Should have seen what that was, just a moment. So if I... I just got a, a pop-up. There you go. What's everyone's income looking like per month? Like your profits? Very good. So I've I've gone up. Uh, I went from fifty to eighty-three a month. Uh, this session, Did I... not quite sure how. A uh, hundred and eighty-three, but oh wow! You know, United China. Yeah. One hundred and eighty-two, just from the production, because I have manufacturers everywhere. Ah, uh, yeah. Manufactories and their related workshops, I suppose, to be specific. I have to figure something oh. out now. Oh, that's other, than, to it. other than uh, fish and wheat, but that's going to be put into making a larger manpower pool when I have the spare money. Yeah, I just got a pop up about one of my colonies wanting to attack something else, but I didn't pick up on it. So now it's just like, ah, oh, god. I hope it's not like. Colonies from the same. My own colonies can't attack each other, right? Nope. Not okay. that I'm aware of. You can get an event that they're arguing over who owns what land. Let's say if uh, one colonized into the area of another. But other than that. Like, um, the fact that Mexico and that might actually probably would have been what it was about. I didn't realize that uh, all of the land you had was, uh, I am remembering it, right? What? Yeah, like, uh, I, I pretty much made California quite big. Uh, part of the reason yeah, that was, was why. There's, there's two reasons for that. First off, like, um, I didn't want, um, let's take subjects with that. There will be events that they do squabble over what's supposed to be Colonial Mexico mm. instead of Colonial California, where Mexico wants lands that's supposed to be co Colonial California and you can choose which side or something like that, I believe. Yeah, that might, if that shows up, I'll take it from there. It's, it was mostly more like, um, Actually, so you do that. Um, yeah, at this point, I think I'm going to get Baikoko down to the coast, um, and then get the rest of it to to make a Shiko. Mm -hmm. I think that's the general plan here. Okay, one more year, so I think I actually will do this.
the next money building I could build, I guess, is uh, <laughs> cathedrals everywhere. Yeah. What would you even call a Conf Confucian cathedral? Hi, Koki. I just saw you a message. I don't know when it was there. Let's see. Uh, five minutes ago. So you're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah. At least like I have a a chat on my screen right now, so I can see when stuff happens. Yeah, that is okay. So. Let's make colony uh, make a shiko bigger now. Um, it's a pun. Oh, that's a really. Actually, that's okay. That's actually really bad because they don't have. Oh, they got the course on it. Oh, that's good then. Okay. Yeah, Kogi shows us in my stream sometimes, and it's, al it's always like uh, that I suck or I'm awful or something, and I really enjoy it. It's great. Boo, you stink. <laughs> that is that what I'm supposed to say? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Uh, where do I even put my... My next merchant, because I don't think I have anywhere to put it. Yeah, Beijing goes. Yeah, I don't want to fight you either on that. Oh, right. Philippines. Yes. Okay. Is it just me, or did Russia take more of uh, Scandinavia? Probably did. Yeah, I definitely did. Congrats. Yeah, that's been, Russia that's not has like always that. been shipped this way. Personally, I'm excited for the uh, papal boats and papal army to be in South Africa again. <laughs> yeah, like, I, 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 I would guess that the, another war will just be in Africa again, and uh, yeah, to me it's like... Probably the rest of you just like doing boat stuff, um, and then like Daft Daft and Chaos will do boat stuff, and I I'm will not be. Boat and... stuff. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Boo. Let's see, what's the development? Lost on the cost we have. There. Uh. Man, that devastation in this conquered land sure is disgusting. If only someone could do something about this. Not me, of someone course. Someone should do something about that. It was uh, their fault when they didn't want to give up as quickly. Obviously. Oh, I forgot about these soldiers. Um, can you go there then? Actually, this might be good if I um. So I got pulled into a very large fight because I vassalized Afghanistan, and Afghanistan turned out to be in the middle of a war due to my war with Afghanistan. Luchistan, Delhi. Hey, there's your war with Gujarat that you won. I didn't want a war with Gujarat. Though. Oh I my! War with Bengal. I wanted the war with Gujarat as a pretense for a war with Bengal. Hey, hey, look at what happened to uh, India. Did Bamani stop? Oh, they became Deccan. Which is even more disgusting because Deccan's ideas are very militarily oriented. They're decadent. Boo. Um, ten percent morale of armies, twenty percent land force limit, five percent discipline, ten percent infantry combat, ten percent goods produced. They're going to be as much of an in-game boss as Russia is. Yeah. That. For reference, that is the first.
time I've actually seen Deccan get formed by an AI. But they have 251 force limit now. Granted, they are only fielding half of it, because their manpower is pretty low, but it's still notable. One more round of soldiers here. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is just leave Alaska to burn. Sorry, Iggy. Um, and then just go east. <laughs> Alaska freaking sucks, man. You can sauce it. Alaska, don't care. I got my... Sex. Oh, I should have waited for the development. Ah, doesn't matter. Asian Dragoons. Hang on, just a sec. I'm going to pop. I, I, I'm managing a very large fronted war, and I'm just gonna see if I can, like, separate piece out anything. Clear offer. Okay. I'm gonna see how many cores I can get them to return to my little vassal Afghanistan. They'll return Ghazni. Will they return Kandahar? Will they return Kerman? I actually don't know what I should do next time with my traders. I should just like pick up in the Caribbean after I get enough trade power there or something, I don't quite know. Nothing else is useful for me than I currently have, and I will get more from um, uh, let's say some rearrangements of the United States. Okay. Hamburg uh, just took Denmark. Okay, so Faras has been beaten up enough that uh, that they'll accept a separate piece. I can see if I can just force them to release nations, or actually, I think yeah, I could make them release nations, but they'd all just get eaten up really fast. And see. I'm just going to take this stuff from Faras, I think. I think I'm actually going to wait a little bit longer in this war, because I'm not losing anything from it, carrying on. Well, I know of imperialism on everyone, which means yep. I could declare war on uh, Prussia, for all I cared. <laughs> what does Prussia have to do with China? Um, Prussia, prove which of... army's better. Well, other okay. than the sanitation, the aqueducts... Universal education, <laughs> peace. What have the what have the Prussians suffered lately? <laughs> uh, I built a university in every single territory in China off of the money of the Africans. I don't know what you're talking about. And no, they haven't gotten one yet because I'm still building money buildings in there. Because they need to work for their money first before they actually get an education. <laughs> Uh, terrible. Potentially topical. I don't know. I I, I don't I haven't caught up on that in a while. Topical dread terror is I think the term that they use.
I'm an American having to work to get an education. It's kind of normal. Even if it's just a piece of paper that says you can do it and they don't it don't care anyway. I am currently second in income somehow. I just eclipsed Russia and I somehow just got 60k extra income. Hold up. I'm not quite sure what happened. Oh, this is close. Our siege of Kandahar is about to fall. Come on, hold it 78%, will ya? Ah, uh, it didn't hold. Well done, my little vassal swarm. Well done. How goes the uh, Grand Japanese migration? Yeah, there. Yeah, I uh, I actually forgot about it, but yeah, that's already at the moment. case, uh, how is the Grand Cambodian preparation? Oh, it's going alright. I'm building ships uh, because I have semi-ridiculous naval force of 337. So I uh, I figure build some more light ships. I'm not sure if I want to go for more heavy ships because I didn't really need all the ones that I built last time for fighting Spain. The Without being able to push into the Mediterranean, I think I have enough heavy ships for my region, so... I'm thinking yeah. light ships, which also double as trading vessels in times of peace. Well... Yeah. Well, my ships, while they're not uh, the most up-to-date, because those were only as recent as Tech 22... Um, I am more or less ready to go on my end over here. I have uh six I have one 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 fifty K I think troops in uh in Mexico ready to go. Um if we could well I guess yeah you can you you can still come in. I just won't be able to like devote attention to it for the first bit. You know we just like accidentally build a university somewhere do you don't know where this happens. Yeah. Um, uh, if you use the sidebar, you can try and. That's a good point. Out. Okay, let's see. Uh, right, where is it? Higher education. Where the hell is it? Building. Yeah. Uh, university in Hugo, where which is here. And that's fine. Let's see. All right, well, let me know uh, when you are ready to go. Yeah, well, of course, I just need a few months to uh, get my maintenance up and my Hang morale up. I'm, I'm going to see if this is a good moment for me to peace out of this war. Since first of all, I can do separate pieces with fires. All right. Over the hills and fires away. To grandmother's house we go. Yeah, I've got no good reason at all to strengthen Persia. I didn't promise them anything. Uh, and I'll grab some war reparations from them. And... What else? I guess I could release some nations. All the nations they can release suck, though. Yeah, I switched to absolutism here for a while. I can just switch back and forth for 50 each time if I get a bad. 
you get a bad leader, I can just switch back to, to Sage General, I guess. I don't need the admin, uh, the government development or this government reform points anyways, at this point. Alright, and then I'm just gonna punch out as much money as I possibly can from just fars. Personally, I've always enjoyed the idea of punching money out of a nation being something similar to uh, Sonic getting hit. Oh. Where he drops all of his rings. Alright. Uh, Fires will pay me 205 ducats. Um, and I will take all of the Central Asian territories of Herat, Merv, Gurion, and Farah. And that will, that will do. all of those things. Sorry, Afghanistan. Sucks to be you. Alright, now let's see if Gujarat... Gujarat do war reps? No, they won't. But they will accept a regular old piece. Okay, Delhi. I need to make sure that I'm careful with my overextension here, actually. Uh, okay, I can go up another 75% overextension, so I'm pretty safe. Okay, so Delhi will give up these territories to me. The development on these. All right, yeah, and Multan's pretty nice. to seed four territories to me, and that's going to be 64%, uh, sorry, 40% overextension. Send demand. Cool. And now with that done, uh, we can move one more day forward. Actually, I need to move a few more days forward because we're going to have people who are... Alright. Alright, and now I've got my diplomat back. Baluchistan, you're going to return all these things to my little Afghanistan buddy. Oh man, I could also force them to release Sindh, almost. Jeez, maybe I should do that. Because I get 86 karma for releasing sin, and I think my karma is at minus 74 right now, so I'm gonna hold out a bit longer in this war and do that. Hey there, Palukistan, how's it feel knowing that every one of your allies sold you out? Who's that in the golden era? I closed it before I left it. Was it Japan? Japan, yeah. Wow. So I just suppose right. now's the time to do it. Golden era of conquest, something, something. Yeah, like, um, I was about to invest in some power stuff. I was like, yeah. I but might actually get that for the morale of armies and navies in order to uh, punch the Europeans a little bit harder. Depends on uh, if I see France down here or not, I guess. 
But I am ready. are uh, also ready. I'm ready. Are we doing are right. doing L big war? L big war. Oh. All right, because yeah. I've almost finished my war. So I can I can join in on this. I have a wild idea. Uh and I feel like it would probably make us lose war score, especially given their location. But I did ally Great Britain at one point. Oh, oh. And uh, I could potentially try and get the British Army and Navy involved, but they also have Brittany, so they would technically also be costing us war score. So I don't know if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> well, what do you guys think? I don't care. Uh, <laughs> as long as I can Mexican territory, uh, I, I trust your judgment. Well, I think, yeah, a Brittany may be a liability, because that will obviously get occupied straight away. Um, yeah, and there's no telling how good their navy will actually be hmm. against the combined uh, every other colonial power navy. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think at this point in the game, we might want to leave Great Britain out of it. Maybe, you know, like a century later, they would definitely be someone who want to have on our side, but... Yeah. Also, they have zero sailors right now, it seems. Hmm. Alright, so what I am going to do is declare war not for imperialism. Although I'm... Oh, I'm not going to lie. Hang on. Uh, Navy. All oh, right, Moscow. Cool. Yeah. Uh, port. No. Okay, so I'm raising my maintenance. It sounds like we're going to war. I could fight a war of attrition against Portugal until the Spanish and the French are kicked out, and then it would actually probably be possible to sail over to Portugal and land on their mainland because I could get port access through Great Britain and uh, make it make sure my boats don't sink on their way to Iberia. All right. Well, I, I, I'm at peace, everyone. Yay. What do you guys think? Um, well, I'm just started raising my maintenance, so I'm... I'm... Good to go, whatever. Just point me at him. As they say. Point me in the direction. Point uh, me in, coach. I am going to pull a stupid and cast it as imperialism instead of conquest. That will make our war score bad to the bad for a while. But bad once we get Spain and France out, I'll be able to get over there and uh, siege their mainland, and I'll be able to take more off of them because it's imperialism rather than a regular conquest. So let's suffer. Ooh. Says we have a larger army compared to them, but uh, prepare for some shenanigans of people randomly popping out of the fog of war that really, really shouldn't have walked that far away. What the hell are you doing over here, France? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I instantly got into several battles, which I have won. Okay, great. I'm actually oh, just going to get wrecked. On that topic, I should immediately dock my fleet. I just realized I forgot to, uh... Well, I forgot to start annexing one of my vassals before this, so I've got... I, I'm, I'm at 8 out of 5 diplomatic relations right now. Eh. Oh, well. Worst part about this being a war of attrition.
So Persia, Hatramote, Bengal, Delhi, and all these guys, but I don't care about them. You're boring me, buddies. I do have a couple potential rebels, but I actually think they're going to go away, so that's nice. Uh, who is over here? Just looks like a small Portuguese force, okay. Generals, can I get one more? Oh, that just went through. Okay, I shall you move north then. I'm just going to try as much as possible, just basically tunnel visioning um, America. Like, why is Savoy in on this? Oh, because they're a one territory miner. I didn't realize that all of that went to Genoa. And, uh,. They're a vassal of France. She has sold 5,000 soldiers in- Oh, I wiped them! Jesus Christ! Okay. Didn't even have- Okay. She has 5,000 troops in Mexico for some reason. I don't know. They just did. I'm not sure the question. Alright. My guys are almost in place to get onto their little boat. And it is indeed a little boat. It's an adorable little boat. Yeah, they're just going for Alaska, which is completely fine. Absolutely. That means they're scared of fighting you. Yeah, I just wiped uh, 30,000 troops, and I didn't know I could do that, but um, I don't mind. Didn't want something. Yes, yes, Last little series of wars was hilarious. So what happened is I went to war with Afghanistan, Kazakh, and Kiva. And then in the war I forced Kiva to become my vassal and vassalized Afghanistan. And then once I vassalized Afghanistan, I completely subjugated the Kazakhs. And then Afghanistan was being invaded by Baluchistan, Fars, and Delhi. So then I just turned my forces around and beat up those guys and took their things. It's a bad day for the Sultan of Delhi. Also, it's not going to be very long before I actually own Delhi.
wow, both of these nations, the uh, African nations that have come to border, uh, will peacefully become tributaries after this war is over, which is interesting. Nice. I am uh, also going to be a jerk and pull France away from their Cuban cigars. <sighs> what, what, what could we do without that? I feel so bad for them now. <laughs> this one random nation in the Congo region named Cuba with a K. And somehow they got an alliance with France and have just been sitting there sticking their tongue out that co at the Congo for so long that, um, you know what, I choose to make that not happen anymore. And I'm going to declare war on them while I'm at war with France so France can't join that war. Smart. Saying? What? Yeah. That is strange. So, my vessels are giving you provinces in Florida. Um, I'm guessing it's because I'm the it's primary he's the war. Kingdom. Angst, you have to yeah. Oh my god. He's the middle kingdom. Yeah. Okay. These are actually attacking here. Um, By default, he rules everything. You just get to own things because he says it's okay for you to own it on his behalf. Yeah, of course. That's how things I'd work actually in get... neighbors with the, with the Tang Dynasty. Yeah, you think uh, we didn't actually want the Manchu region? No, oh, we wanted it, just like we wanted the rest of China from Tibet. But, but you yeah, do Tibet's have so... it, because Tibet is a tributary. They are the east, they're, they're the Western barbarians who, uh, who bow down before you. I mean, you don't necessarily pay me money every year, so... I wouldn't call yes, you a tributary. Uh, we, we, we do contribute, you know, your, uh... Do you see how this fight goes? Spain has a better general against me and more soldiers uh, in the uh, Philippines. Uh, I've oh, got troops on the way, Angst. I, I don't suppose we can delay this fight for it. No, okay. Uh, probably not. We'll, we'll see how it goes. If I wipe, I'll wipe. That's yeah, that he dies, he dies. <laughs> Oh yeah, just to yeah. uh, pass the, uh, the stuff oh, in the... Yeah. Okay, I lost. But it's... Yeah, it's fine. I'll just retreat into death. As long as I don't get wiped, I don't care. Alright, well in that case I'll get my whole army together and then I'll, I'll come in for them. Alright, I'm about to start island hopping, my friends. So, the main thing... We won't be able to get Spanish to Philippines because we won't be able to land on their mainland in, or in order to get the war score. But... Uh, we'll certainly have other opportunities. I wonder... That would be so disgusting it might actually work. That is a French Colombian army there. Let's see if you can catch it. No, I don't want to baptize myself. <laughs> Just jump in the water, it'll be fine. We didn't make proclaim it holy water or anything on us. Um, what happens if I send the fleet directly into a friendly port territory which is being sieged? Uh, oh, never mind, because the siege ended. Uh, I I'm wonder if you get my guys on New Caledonia. Okay. I was wondering if you take penalty for um, doing that. You 
just well, not not quite. Way. Not quite. So it's a friendly territory which is still holding out on siege, and you just move your ships into uh, it. Oh, real quick, you... real quick, real quick. Okay, so that's um, yeah. my question. That's Japan, great. Japan, you're losing your trade boats. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> I, I knew that would happen. Oh, there's 48 um, Spanish ships uh, making their way through. Yeah, I think I've escaped from the Philippines, right? Well, that sucks, I just thought we should have got a uh, fleet wiped, but basically... Uh, where escaped. are the chaos? Um, Spanish they ships? are currently near the Philippines. Uh, they just disappeared okay. back into fog before. I'll keep... Oh, uh, they're in the Marshall Islands. Where are the Marshall Islands? Uh, you can look on the map to see the little red dot. <laughs> there's, there's quite a few little red, dot. red dots. Sorry. Uh, uh, Okay, I see 55 fleets, um, right. That's quite far away. Right. Kiva um, has reached I'm Bohemia. I'm helping your battle in the Taurus Strait right now, with my tiny little fleet. That's between, uh, New Guinea and Australia. It's been attacked by French oh. Columbia. I dropped my forces off on the mainland. Okay, 50% less force, land force limit modifier, let's go. Spain won't fight me. Fight me. Fight me, won me, bro. Oh, yeah, my army had a huge morale penalty against Spain. This is not good. Yeah, one star versus two star um, morale penalty. I'm gonna lose this. Interestingly, you have more starting morale than they do. Well, it seemed like, as, as soon as I walked, I was well under their morale. You had 5.9, they had 5.4. Ah, uh, Japan, I think we're going to have to combine forces in the Philippines, yeah. I just got to have all of my troops. Oh, actually, my my, yeah, my, my troops are still alive, right? Yeah, I can I can come in. I actually kind of forgot that they didn't die. Um, I'll wait for you. I'll, I'll, I'll attach it to you. That I can do. Um, yeah, all of my, all of my uh, attention is on... The new world and kind of yeah. So we can wipe these guys. Hmm. I can't safely island hop while these fleets are still wandering around. Unfortunately. What I'm going to do basically in a new world, okay, let's see what Daft's troops. I'm going to like keep that, whatever I get, and then form defensive lines. So, Daft, I'm now going to attach my army to yours. Okay. I can't do that. Uh, please allow friendly units to attach to it, then I can just do it. Okay, sorry, I'm doing uh, uh, like a military. Just let me know when, it, when it's done. Uh, I won battle, apparently. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. All right. Uh... Oh, goodness. Uh, French troops are marching in through uh, through Central Asia. Oh, God. Okay, All that's right. done now, thanks. The Sistan has occupied Alsace. Or not Sistan, Kiva. And uh, both Oman. Oh, well, I did see Pegu over there before, but Oman is uh, currently in the Ottomans. Uh, Ottomans Japan? Uh, sorry, how about Japan? You can. All right, I will do you that. You can touch my army now. Sorry, I, I thought you were already attached. It has now been attached, so go ahead. Okay, great. I'm going up to uh, Baikot. Yeah, but what I'm basically yeah, going, I'm going to like occupy all of the, this. Uh, Wait, how, where the hell did they come from? Ah, uh, move! My vassal Oman has been totally Oh shit, this is bad. Way. 
This is really bad. Oh god. Okay. Oh well. Just don't wipe. Yeah, all we need to do for Spain is fight Spain until they don't feel like being in here anymore. We don't need to like try and capitulate them or anything. Okay, did not wipe. That's good. Okay, seems like we are fighting in South of Mexico for this. Sending a little force over to liberate Oman. Joachim is in charge of the Empire. That's funny. Okay, we have lots, lots of colonial oh, troops in South Mexico. Me. Well, time to rifle the elements, I guess. Um, I want to war somewhere, I don't know why. What a fight. Um, what the hell just happened? Oh, it's that just doing stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I rolled over. Okay. Still going to wipe them. Yes. What's so. These Europeans have no honor. <laughs> Shame for display. Yes. Wait, Tibet is okay. I'm I see you're out in a... Central Asia. Oh, wow, this is going real badly for me. Uh, Spain's in New Zealand now. Uh, do you want me to send some forces to... down there to help? Um... I... No offense, but I don't think you could send enough. Uh, you need quite a few transport they ships. Have, they only have four thousand troops in New Zealand. I thought I saw more. I'm I sure, I saw more a moment ago. I'm okay, so I'm simultaneously fighting as uh, rebels. There's huge army in the Philippines of Spain. All right. I say I can... huge. Actually, they're not that are big. Are you but... are you able to fight them reasonably well? I can't do anything about New Zealand for a while. I'm going to have right. to deal with. Uh... I, I'll, I'll deal with New Zealand then. Okay. I've got nineteen thousand soldiers cruising around on my boats. Uh, 
actually interesting. Like every every time I cut, I, like catch an army, I basically wipe them. Not tough, but when I do, it's uh, because this wait a lot somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah, Philippines again. We almost outnumbered them two to one, but still lost. That's okay. We lost still like twenty thousand troops. I don't we think we can beat Spain. I think we can. I. I don't see how we can beat that Spanish army in the Philippines. Well, I, it's I'll send some forces. Um, well, it's just the Philippines, honestly. If we lose that area, it won't really... And also, I can I can bring another 19,000 who have been able to fight very nicely toe-to-toe -to -toe with the... Uh... With the Spanish. Alright, I've landed my forces, and we are liberating the news now. Mission Impossible theme playing in the background over, uh, over in China. Wiped another army? Just about liberated New Zealand. The North Island is already saved. Oh, and I see that there's a little battle happening out in the Coral Sea, so I'll send my guys to help in that fight. It's France versus uh, De Canova. Okay, mm. let's see. So, we're losing at the moment, but when I come with this army, it's your turn. Come on, make it in there. There we go. One in the fight. That's a big one too. Oh, I actually have any attrition problems for the first time in a long time in this game. You definitely need to go east. Yeah, come at me, you stupid boats. I dare ya! You know, that's the thing, I can't get them to just attack me. Except France. The Spanish fleet has sailed... Well, fractions of the Spanish fleet has sailed into me. Twice. Okay, I just need to sit here for a few months to let these people recover before I do... Sadly, my True. fleet just got caught by uh, a bunch of French forces and then the Portuguese showed up off the coast of New Caledonia. Fortunately, I have now left a large army in New Zealand. Oh, looks like you guys are vacationing in New Zealand for a while. Yes. Well, at least uh, most of them. I did only lose two right. ships, but we're also retreating all the way to the home coast. Oh god. Uh, so, uh, at least it's in friendly water, so I don't think they'll sink themselves. Uh, we'll see about that. No, they're sinking. I just saw two of them go from 7% to 5% hull. Oh, and they're okay. going all the way back. Here, here. Well, it might have just been that section of water. Uh, they're sailing... Are they still attritioning? Because now they should be sailing through friendly waters. We'll see. 17 ships. Still 17 ships. And two of them are at 2% hull. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Just bail out faster, lads. Seriously, America is just like fighting in Russia. It's so annoying. Well, good thing that's uh, totally not what you're going to do this entire game, right? It's fight in America or Russia. <laughs> Uh, okay, please, Spanias, this time clear out. Nice to left. Oh, you actually beat them. them. Right. Spanish, get out, re. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. They, they attacked me for some reason. Um, across a river crossing, so yeah, oh. Sometimes the AI actually think they could fuck around and then they do indeed find out as a um, great yeah. philosopher once worded. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, there's the Pope. Over in Gibraltar, apparently. Alright, good news. I've got a new army I'm going to bring out. Alright, Spain and Castile. Yeah, Spain and Castile. Good job, self. Spain and uh, the Pope are already starting to feel like this war is a little bit boring. France, on the other hand, they're still excited. Is, still their, horsey, is their horsey excited? Do they have a happy horse? Yes, yes very. Oh, yeah. I think it's because we've actually been... F well, has I've, anyone I've fought the Pope? I've sent so many... French and Spanish armies packing out of Persia and Oman. France still says they have most of their military when I go to sue for peace. French military strength, negative 16. Oh, I know the Portuguese army wipe, I think, will be coming now. Oh, uh, they just landed 7,000 guys near Brisbane. Oh, God. Well, we... Good news is we wiped the uh, Spanish and uh, Philippines. Excellent. I didn't wipe them, sadly, but... Uh, oh, I thought we did. No, it, that was another, another fight. Oh, sorry. So, uh, I will know I could white piece the Spanish out right now. Okay. That would actually... Guys... I don't mind. I don't Horses care about the Spanish. have just reached Afghanistan. <laughs> uh, I'm engaging wow. them so, right now. Uh, would you guys... Kala, I am fighting. Would you guys want Spain out? Yeah, well, I guess uh, we can well, go on, after them again. I, 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 just, like, I, 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 get, I have stuff to get for them, but it doesn't really... I like, just stack nice. wiped a uh, Spanish army in Conchitala. Oh, wow. Well, all the better. We now no longer have to deal with the Spanish. As you can see, I don't like all of their stuff in, but uh, this is exceptionally good. Which means Mission Impossible is, uh, is a go. Spain is no longer a valid rival. Are you? Yeah, I just. I also. What? What the hell happened? I also just got that. So is this an imperialist war? Yes, which is why Mission Impossible was so important. <laughs> ah, you are you are you are attacking Portugal prior, I presume. <laughs> why don't you guys look off the coast of Lisbon? I, I actually didn't see here. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a reverse box rebellion or something, I don't know. No, wait, box it's rebellion, it's I don't know. Yes, I uh, used my porting with uh, Great Britain and 
Tefialult, which is one territory miner still alive for some reason, and they, since they're so far, they don't hate me, to uh, be able to land in Portugal without my ships uh, melting like uh, those other Asian ships that try to get over to the Mediterranean. I believe their last words were, uh, what the shmeep is, go is going on here. Yeah, you know, they just ignored I... all the friendly ports, so... Got an engagement. Alright, guys. Go west! Do -do 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 -do. Oh, that's actually a quite bad engagement, I think. Just don't wipe, guys. How the hell did I lose that, actually? I don't know. But, let's move up there. In that case, actually, you should stay here. Engagement. Oh, they'll just do so. Nice. I just smashed a French army at Orgench. I can get rid of the Pope. I see no reason to not to. The white piece? Yeah. Lisbon has been sieged by the Chinese. And we have our war score. Nice. Colonize our land, will you? I want to colonize you back. Two <laughs> can play this game. All right, so I'm going to liberate Australia and uh, remove Portugal from Indonesia. Francis. Well, actually, France is starting to lose their interest in the war. The length of the war, and they're actually having some war exhaustion from their lost I battles. Their I think their army is excited to be in it, but the rest of their nation, not as much. Oh, hey, Tibet, I see you're in Australia. Uh... Thanks for coming over. Uh, yeah, Ottoman so occupation of Ottoman occupation of Fars, just you know, because that's pretty close to Tibet. Yeah. Figure that's notable. I say that's not too Fars from our homeland. Uh, oh. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I just built the French army in Australia. Uh, wiped it. Yes, I was going to do have... more of that, but I got very distracted having to fight off a bunch of Chinese armies in Central Asia. That's perfectly understandable. Chinese armies, huh? Sorry, not Chinese armies. French armies. France is the China of Europe. 
is what I meant to say, of course. Oh no, apparently I did lose a heavy ship in somewhere. Uh, did that just say Russia's planning to attack the Ottomans? If I'm so, pretty no. sure that's what that just said. I mean, it may actually be an opportune time to fight Russia. Yes. Yes, indeed. Especially as uh, Russia is apparently claiming Mongolia. Yeah, I know. Silly, silly, silly Russia. Yeah, Fars is having a very bad time. They're being dabbed upon by the Ottoman Turks. Big French fleet here. Where? Oh yes, I see. Uh, Hawaii Islands off the northern coast of New Guinea. I I'm think going to we got this. Opportunity to do some uh, do some fleet nonsense. Oh, they run away. Cowards. Bravely. on Fiji. Francis on Yeah, yes. I'm yes. on the New Caledonia. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had New Caledonia occupied for a while. Oh, wait, no, uh, no, sorry, sorry. Oh, Rhode sorry. Island, uh, Solomon Islands, not New Caledonia. So. Uh, these Pacific Islands are all kind of the same, aren't they? Uh, you want me to transfer them over to you? I think I should be doing that. Um... Uh... Well, I, um, I wouldn't object to a Tibetan outpost in the, Indonesia. I mean, technically, that all belongs to the Polynesian Triangle, which was, you know, for Japan. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> kind of was, yeah. but I don't care, I think. I mean, if we're being technical... Um, Holy shit, there's a lot of soldiers. Okay. Um, I don't wipe some of them anyways. Okay, I don't... What what the what the hell just happened? How bad is Portugal's fighting? This is insane, man. Portugal's like, fighting is incredibly bad. Portugal yes. fights like a like a not only a wet noodle, but a noodle that was cooked once and then put into the microwave again later. <laughs> <laughs> and then eaten and then eventually spat up by a kid who doesn't like eating noodles somehow. What kind of weird kid doesn't like eating noodles? Anyways, yes, and then that became the uh, Portuguese Forzas Armadas. So I suppose this comes to the question, how much of Portuguese Mexico does Japan desire? Honestly, as much as possible. Uh, it would be good if Mexico could get a coast. Um, and, like, a priority tries coast and getting their land connected. Basically. I mean, they can still walk through their allied land, I think. Yes, they can, but, you know. It's also slightly for aesthetics, even though it's like becoming the aforementioned noodle. Maybe more competent than that, but. A 
If I were at Queen, I'd be very, very cautious about helping the Ottomans grow into as far as... Alright, come on. The siege has been at 70% for like a year. There we go. Um... Oh, hang on, I need to... Sp I need to spend some of my points, because I'm full. Uh -huh. I just keep this here. Yeah. Okay, so um, I do have a little bit of a problem trying to connect Mexico together. Not enough war score? No, I physically can't see the territories. Oh god. Um, can I sell oh. things to I can't even really do that. Well, like, in, in, in that case, honestly, like... I mean... Like, just give as much land as possible to Mexico, that's kind of the whole point. You like, all those are just kind of priorities, which don't matter. You could that. name them to me while I select them in the peace deal. Okay. Because uh, that's what I can see. So I see that there's only like two territories separating uh, what I see from Mexico. Okay, uh, let me just do something here quickly. Uh, giving this to Mexico. This one province, yes. Okay. Whoop, they're coming! Run, guys! And they stopped coming. Run, boys. Good news! Run. I can peace out France uh, next month. Yeah. So any I any way to... Get to... Can we get anything from France? They've got stuff uh, over here in the Pacific. We would have... Well, I would have to march into France itself to do so. Really? Okay. Yeah. It's just white peace. So, so it's not worth me I... invading any more French territory over here, no? I mean, I could try. We could certainly try and extend the war enough to do that. So I'm just, I'll I'll just going there. for Portugal and France. Yeah, I'm, I'll go for the, of the Portuguese islands. And, uh... So just get France out for now, then? Yeah. At least for me. Oh, they just took back their power. I don't know if that Although affected I'll, the war score at all. I'll be honest, I kind of want to go invade them enough to get 10 war score to make them unally Russia. <laughs> Not a bad idea. I mean, I'm so I, I've actually been gaining uh, manpower throughout this war. I've actually had a little bit of manpower problems, funny enough. But, uh... I see that uh, that France France still holds on to Kiribati, so we will make our way up there. This is just the Tibetan Pacific vacation. Yeah. A vacation. Oh, we had the, the uh, <laughs> we had the Cambodian vacation in uh, in Tibet earlier. So yeah, exactly. I guess it's, There's also the Cambodian vacation in uh, the Philippines, which doesn't get spoken of quite as much, or with quite as much. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, that was a good time. We were like... <gasps> Alright. Oh, Rebel, I... Kiribati. Uh, sorry, where is Kiribati? I actually know my uh, geography. It's north of... Apparently don't. It's... It's where my fleet Oh, is. I, I see it. I see it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the I'm, uh, I'm oh retaking the ball. I am going to advance into France. Nice. I okay. am already at 0% sieging this fort because it's a castle, and after I siege it, I'll have a straight shot to Paris, which does not have a fort on it. Wow. I like this history. Yeah. <laughs> 
that is act may actually be a game changer. And yeah. I just wall breached. Nice. Oh, I don't care if I lost claims on Spain. I can just declare war on them more efficiently now that I have imperialism. How ironic it is that we're imperializing the colonists. <laughs> Are you just establishing a trade port in a, in Portugal? <laughs> oh, I can catch these French. French That's better catch these hands. Something, something. You have calling distance right. for... I've uh, occupied Kiribati. Nice. And I also just managed to kill the, the coalition against me. They're not standing up against me anymore. We march to Paris, men! Yay. We have 4% war score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like if I get Paris. Uh, Portugal is researching Portugal. That's fine. That's. Right. Are you really the state, Fars? It doesn't seem like you're the state. Okay. You just Do you want to know what's really, really funny? If you look at the shape of Fars, it's the exact same shape as Iran, except it's like tiny, so it's missing all the corners, <laughs> but it's still got the same <laughs> shape. Look at it, and then consider the shape of the modern country of Iran. Fars has the same shape. This is funny to me. It's not very far as off. Yes. No, this joke isn't going to get old. The, they have a colonist working in Paris, and they haven't built, constructed a single building in Paris. Literally all of their money has gone into, I don't even know. Looks like I'm catching either Caraiba or French Peru in Alaska. But... Oh, my king died. See, this is why you don't get. Oh god, and it's for this asshole. Yeah, can I just get re reform into? Uh, I think Bengal stopped being Cuba. allied with Bahamut. Oh no, they. They, they stopped being allied with yeah. Balmanis, but now they're allied with this new Deccan country. Frig. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the Deccans well, are helping Delhi in their war against John Poor. Well, well, that's over. That ended very quickly. Bye bye, John Poor. We barely. The Siege of Paris is successful. Oh my god, really? You did okay. it? Yeah, we're, wow. I'm, I'm sitting on top of Paris. Wow. Alright, so Frenchy French Islands. Problem since they are. Uh... Oh, wait, that's because I can't make that one up before. Um... Oh, because Fiji is currently occupied by Tibet. I cannot make. cannot cede it because free... they can't make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, who do I want to cede it to? Uh. Come here? I don't know. Who do you want to see it to? Come here? Okay, come here. there we go. And... Transfer all my stuff to Khmer. Oh, thank you very much. What? I'm losing a naval battle against You're France. A naval battle What's right going now? on? Oh, they've got heavy ships. Okay. Uh, fiddlesticks. They're not allowed to have heavy ships over here. I think Portugal just. Oh, Karabar just wiped the army. Peasants, stop killing the Portuguese. Or I should kill the Portuguese. I want to. Yeah, you. I think we we lost this chaos. I'm sorry. Ah uh, well, I, uh, I I I threw threw myself in with, uh, with enthusiasm and such. I'm trying to chase down that fleet, my other fleet, which I prepared earlier.
It's a close one, but they've got the heavy ship advantage and just can't do enough damage. Oh my god, did I accidentally load my troops up onto my transports for this battle? I Wait, we won? We won! We won! We won! Are they, oh, they run away, they must have... They must have disengaged when they saw my other fleet coming. Okay. That must be it. Wow. That was a close one. Jeez. Yes. Uh, well, uh, I think we've got all the Pacific Islands, don't we? Not quite. There's still the French Marshall Islands, which I'm going to invade. Uh, okay. um, and, and also, and there is, uh, there is uh, Ile de Pascua, Easter Island. You don't have to, oh. but I was actually kind of planning for long term getting the, some, at least, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see what do. You... Well, like it, honestly, uh, I haven't done anything in the Pacific. I'm gaining a lot in port in uh, in Mexico for this, and that has consists part of the Philippines to me. So, you guys go nuts. Technically, yes, you'll be very surprised with how much uh, Mexico you actually get, because <laughs> the provinces are really, really cheap. Oh, that's good. Wait, just wipe an army somehow? I should. Yeah, I will. Unfortunately, Portugal is definitely going to re-siege their land, but I have docking rights elsewhere, so my ships are going to be perfectly fine. You wipe me! I wipe you! But yeah, to get the rest of that land, since they're not co cb it is going... I am trying to siege as much of France as possible. Imagine that you're some French peasant out in the farmlands of northern France, and you have some weird people speaking Chinese pointing their guns at you because their king does not want to hand over some island in the Pacific. <laughs> Um, actually, um, Hova, I realize uh, when when you do Mexican stuff, just click randomly. Nice. I guess. Uh, I've been I trying to draw a new a, uh, I just smashed a French army. That should be worth a few war score. Yeah, they're at 67 of 81. Let me double... Ch ah, I need to click EG as well. Uh, so yeah, that makes it a little bit worse. Oh. Well, that would be why. Uh, when you seeded those islands over, it shifted. Alright, you know, I could take something from them too. Take Portugal. That's probably going to be too much, though. Aww. Oh. Alright, you're only in France at the moment, right? Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> Afghanistan is sieging Savoy. <laughs> I'm so proud of the Afghans. What? <laughs> they don't even have boats to get over here. They just walked. They walked like men. And men who don't have boats. No, I don't know if that's what I'm saying. Europeans are cowards. They're my discipline. Just yes. fight me, you coward. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, if you can send some guys over to help me at Easter Island, my fleet's about to get spanked. Oh, there's no way I can get over there in time. Uh... Okay, well, I might have a couple of guys who are going to hang up with the Moai statues. Actually, I might win this. It looks like you, yeah, you got this, even though it's true your transport ports versus yeah. their frigates. I um, I just won a significant naval battle against France in the Marshall so... Islands. Uh... It's, uh... Okay, um... Damn it. If I sent ships, they might have been able to get there in time now. Um, I hesitated. It looks like you got this, though. I think I do. That's impressive. Yeah, no, the Tibetans being decent at fighting on boats. Like, I just like looking <laughs> at my little, my little boat with Tibetan flags flying on each mast. It's like, get out of here, you silly <laughs> Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese. Portuguese. I like that. Alright, now I'm going to land my guys on Easter Island and recover a bit. 
I think Japan should have Guam uh, at some point, so I definitely don't want to take that. Thank you so much. It's closer, it's a lot closer to Japan than Cambodia. Alright. Oh jeez, attacking the French in mountains might be okay. Yeah, def I definitely li like, like that, yeah. Uh, let's see, I think we got all of Indonesia now. Um, oh, oof, oof. No, we don't have Nauru. This Nauru's. was a mistake, oh, yeah, it was a mistake to fight here. Oh. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, Battle of Bam, I'm losing it. But only narrowly. Is that in Asia or somewhere? Yeah, it's in Baluchistan, near Faros. I lost, but honestly, it was an even exchange of, uh, of casualties in that battle. Uh, I got the you... Iroquois are actually really big. I cool. want Guam to be controlled by... Just okay. try it. Can I tran Center? transfer it? Uh, oh, so I can. Yeah, I forgot about that. There we go. Yeah. Just for reference, try and start transferring things that you can, just because we're close enough that uh, I may pause for this kind of thing, and then I have to reselect them mm. if they change ownership. And then I might end up getting one. Okay, well, I'm giving Japan some islands. Well, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I, to be honest, I wasn't really planning to get into the Pacific. It was just, you know, to get war score. I would quite like to unite Indonesia if I can. Or at least uh, kick out the Europeans. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, for France, at least, I think, personally, uh, the priority is good to getting a French uh, Molokas back to uh, Cambodia. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. All the islands shifted? Ah, uh, yeah, yep. Everyone's happy with uh, all of the French territorial Probably. ships? Yep, um, I would like to bet to have Nauru. 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 Why? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, your, your, your navy's been yeah, handy over here, so... <laughs> they give you give you a nice outpost over here. Maybe um, Easter Island as well. The naval base is a bit what I should be Honestly, useful, Easter Island though... is the fun one just because of my joke about like uh, going after Chile. Going uh, after, then... after Chile, yeah. <laughs> Plus, I've actually occupied Easter Island myself. Yeah, it was a bold move. Well, uh. Can I select that? I can't. It's called uh, uh, Ilya I L H A de Pascoa. Oh no, I'm I'm I'm. I definitely wouldn't be able to give that to you because I can't even give Naruru to you. It says it's oh. too far for you to make the port. Oh, oh. That's fair. Uh, well. That's fine. Uh, well, that sucks. Don't worry um, about it. So. Tibet, could you seed Nauru back to uh Oh, Khmer did you seed something? Nauru to me? Uh, I'll seed it back. Yes. Is there any way yeah, for us to... Oh, I, I could sell territory to you, right, later on, maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you wished. Uh, just a sec, I've got to grab Go. Nauru just... and give it back to yep. my boy and yours, Khmer. And I'll do the same thing for Easter Island. Give Thank him you, back sir. the island of Naruto. Alright, I've given the island of Naruto and uh, the island of Easter. Uh, almost forgot Kiribati as well. And there's the war score need back. Okay, because I was going to say, we could peace out. Why is that? Because we're anywhere close to what we need. Okay. Right. I just wanted to pause it to make sure that that was all said over there because I'm yeah, yeah, doing that's, like that's four right. things at once over here. Trying to fight France, uh, the Portuguese army is united. Well, not fighting France, but you know what I mean. At this point, I'm just like um, holding areas in America, not really doing anything. Did they just siege one of those islands back, or did the war did they stop a battle or something? Because that's a lot more war score. Are they invading like, Afghanistan as France? Uh -oh. I don't know if that even counts as anything. 
Uh, I mean, we're at 104. Uh, peace one... offer? Portugal is trying to separate peace me. What How? Oh. Well, uh, they're trying, they're oh, trying they're, to they're leave us, yes. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you oh. can certainly tell them uh, where to stick it. I'm like, hey, Portugal, I don't, like, I don't even have a, an embassy with you. You're like a random tribe. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I, yeah, I don't even know who you are, man. You've ruined my life! I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, to answer, uh, to answer your question, Hobo, I can't see any islands ever taken. I've just realized we're not occupying Midway, but I guess we can get to that in a separate wall later, if needed. Um, uh, midway, Midway. Well, here's the thing. I probably have enough reach for that. So oh, I could okay. yeah. potentially take it and seed it. Where's Midway? You know, do you want me to attack it now, or do we do that for several more? Well, I really won't, actually, because... Um, but... Yeah, again. Mid Midway is, is like my, 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 my what I primarily want, because of the whole Hawaii thing. Um, but, you know... Doesn't matter. Like, honestly, like, you're already giving him all the stuff, so it's like... Oman has also reached France. <laughs> oh man, this is a game changer. Help me, I can't I physically can't stop making these terrible puns. They're compulsive. Right, let's get someone over to Portugal, just so when I black flag in this land, I'll be able to get out. I speak on. That would totally be a me oh. thing to do. I peace out France, and then uh, all of my troops are black flagged, and I can't get anywhere without walking all the way home again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, a you thing. <laughs> yeah. Totally me, and no one else could possibly be that silly. God damn it, Portuguese Mexico, stop having your stuff revolt. <laughs> I know you're completely occupied, but come on, man. I know I've set your country on fire, but let's be civil about this. Yeah, why? Like, I don't know what they're upset about. Hey, here's I, a fun factoid for you. I, we could technically declare war on Spain again. <laughs> yeah, we could. <laughs> I just saw that. Yeah. Yeah, we... uh, Wouldn't that automatically be a separate war that they can't call Portugal into? Uh, technically, if we did that while this war was going on, yes. Yes, it would be. Hmm. That would be a war against Spain and just Spain. But... Yeah, I, I would uh, declare that just before... Um, well, if it's just before, they'll... Why did France ally Tondo? I don't know. Just to be dicks. I That's actually kind of annoying. I was planning to... Uh, I'll, I'll fix Honestly, it. Honestly, this isn't annoying, though, because we can just, like, beat up France again. Like, they'll send some guys into Persia, and I'll fight them again. Hey, Frank is, France is looting a little pink. <laughs> the splotches of... Blue... Oh god, I just noticed a uh, Portuguese on the I totally missed that. Oh goodness, yeah. That's they, they are back with a vengeance. Okay, uh, I can I can fix this. Where are my armies again? I just got a rebellion somewhere, I don't even know where. Where, where the hell is that? What? Did it inside die? What, what the fuck is it? Right, I see Portug Portugal running through. That's annoying. Yeah. Portugal wants to separate piece me as well. I was assuming we're just going to ignore this. Yeah, it's because they they know they can't take it all. Uh, white piece? I don't think so, Portugal. Yeah. Look at you, look. Disregard it. Oh, there's the billions. Okay. Don't pay attention to their lies. Pay <laughs> no okay. attention to the man behind the curtain. I was gonna try and squeeze war reparations from France, but them allying Tondo cancelled that out, so... Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
Okay, and uh, Java's being attacked. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Now I have random... Random islands everywhere. Yes. Oh, and no. I eclipsed them thank too. Uh, Java's under assault. Thank you, Hobo. Um... I right, got what? your uh, Cambodia, uh, your Malukas corrected. I got, I got Guam. I got Marshall Islands. This makes me very happy. I think I got some island. I don't know what the name was. Oh, oh, there, pa Palau. Yes. I also had them an ally, Russia and Tondo. Oh. And Tondo. That's good. And now all I need to do is re re siege <laughs> Portugal. Yeah. Re siege. But my fleet has uh, been sitting nice and idle in Tafiel Elf, so they weren't even touched. And, even better, I left France with uh, some peasants, which uh, totally hasn't provided any issues for France in the past, and totally won't cause potential issues in the future. Of course not. Well, I'm having a slight embarrassment here in Java. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, I've I'm got slowly bringing some troops over, but I'm in the wrong. Place I have. Right now. I have sixty thousand troops and several hundred ships on the way. Uh, I was just caught a little off guard here. Yes, I'm bringing in some guys, but it'll be a little while before they make it. Separatist again. Put yourself to kill the Portuguese, Mexico! Come on! <laughs> That's the thing, all of those various places have different rebels. It's yeah. maddening. Yeah, if you guys are up for it, um, I would definitely like to fight the Spanish. Like, we can declare war on them before piecing out the Portuguese. Oh my god, I'm never going to be able to get out of having eight vassals. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, well, I lost troops and I thought. What? Oh, yeah. I, I think I lost all the troops uh, due to attrition mm -hmm. going across the. I was, Going across the Indian Ocean because I thought I could maybe join up with Hobo's forces, but yeah, my troops just attrition to death in the transport is bad. Well, oh, no, man, I've, I've still got thirty thousand troops over here. If I can, if I can catch them, I'm turning into whack a mole. Whack a mole. -y. Holy whack a mole. Next issue I have is, uh, hang on, where's our war score? As, is it all because they're taking Java, let me guess. I'm no, even with me sieging Lisbon, I don't know where all this war score is. Like, I feel like we should have more. Well, we got a lot from Spain, we got a lot from uh, France, so... I think that's basically it. Oh, we also like we, we, yeah. I mean, we have positive from battles too, which is interesting. Uh, Portugal wants to sue peace with me by seizing a lot of provinces to me, actually. Uh, interesting. Uh, do you guys want that? I then don't have we, any strong we, feelings. I'm just on the boat. We would have to get a. Uh, the main issue with that is that. I, I am completely fine with staying in, I'm just asking. Like, is, yeah, it, is it beneficial to you guys if I peace out? I'll get like... Oh, wait, really, how much it, it would give us One, less two, score. Three, four, five, six provinces. That's... That's not enough. That's not enough as much that, as the saying promised us, so... Stop having revolts! God damn it! Okay, there is more I, I just there realized, does Bali not have a land connection to... Or whatever. Um, it, look, it looks like it does. There's a little dash on the map. Um, yeah. I'm holding, Bali, Bali does I'm holding not. seasons. That is not a dash, no. that is a line for a different sea zone. Yeah, oh, I, oh my okay. god, can I not do this little walk? Well, hey, never mind. Uh, actually, I actually have uh, some 
promises to ask about in uh, in Portug Portuguese Mexico when we get there, because I want uh, Mexico. Uh, me, me, sorry, Mexi Mex Mexico. Yes, I want Mexico to have naval access to both areas, so we don't accidentally give them something they can't call. But beyond that, it's just well, like I've connected their uh, I've connected their capital around oh. Bakoku. Oh, you can see that now. Yeah. Well, that's I don't good. Know when I got that, but I can see that. Now. Stop Although, having revolts! <laughs> yeah, the, the rebellion in Kalima is uh, going to get rid of some of the territories I've selected. Yeah. Uh, did you choose Tepehuan, by the way? Uh, uh, there's one pink province. I don't know if you can see it. Portuguese uh, have been wiped in Germany. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, tip, tip one will we'll go to Bay Coco. Straight from um, yeah. from I see yeah. that. <laughs> Cheering is on. But if you give All them right. like naval access and the rest is connected, then it's completely fine. Really? Yeah. Uh, really? Incidentally, uh, I'll just grab a little picture because um, I can find a picture of exactly what it looks like looking at Java from Bali. My treasurer, hey. the, the Enlightenment is here. Oh, right. I'm trying to snip their island, so I there may actually. This is this is this is my guys looking over the street, and being like, "Yay!" Ah. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that that's not a, uh, you know. Thing magic, a crossing that you can do without ships. I think that the reason that. for that is to make it a bit more necessary to use boats in the region, but yeah, mm. it's a bit silly. Alright, Easter Island. Uh, oh, that's uh, that's too much war score. Oh my god, counting houses. Yes, counting houses. Yeah, I'm going to do that before university. Stop having revolts! <laughs> oh my god! I'm currently trying to select all of the islands, and I mean literally all of them. So we. Now can... I got call for peace too. Not really there. important, but I got it. No, no, I'm pausing. We. I want to see what we can do from here. Um. Let me declare on Spain first. Did we really want to do that? Because here's the problem with that. If we piece... I, I don't think I actually got to get this out before there was an interruption. Yeah. Just because we make a peace treaty with Portugal like a month or two before we declare on Spain, they'll still be able to call in Spain anyway. All right. Or then it doesn't matter. be able to call Portugal in. I mean, probably Portugal at this point probably won't join, but I, it doesn't matter. Let's just... Uh... No, they would, because they hate us. Oh, yeah, I mean... Oh, the Portugal would join? Okay. Yeah, they definitely join because they would have a distaste for our existence. Hmm. Um... Actually... I could make them unally Spain if we end... The, if we get enough war score for this. I would rather have land. I'm pretty sure we can deal with it. Well, that's true. I could just... The the only problem is I'm still going to want to do that because if I'm going to be fighting Spain on land over here, I can't have the Portuguese army over here too. I can't. They, the combined, they would kick my butt. The Portuguese colonies are allying each other, which means they have uh, a distaste for their home for their uh, overlord. Hmm. That is interesting. Oh, holy heck, I just realized I've been missing Portuguese islands off uh, Sumatra. Oh, still with me. Never oh, mind. Yeah, Mentawai and Nias. Yeah, well, I'd, already now, I guess. I also I'd already selected those in the peace deal, so I'd probably just hand them over. Uh, I'll land on them right now, actually. Hold up here. Uh, Portugal rebels re retook some of the, the, the connecting tissue, this thing. Yeah. Doesn't matter, but oh. just wanted to say it. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I will have to reselect that. Alright, I'm grabbing my ass right now. There we go. Yeah, I, I can send some ships And I am also, also starting to get call for peace, by the way. Yes, I am working on the last bits here. We are... How did I lose another heavy ship? They're very close. The Ottomans have sent us a gift. Well, I I'll take the gift. Well, I'll take the Well... If only that land had been uh, owned by a peaceful and more benevolent ruler uh, quite a while ago. If only. One thirty-eight of one fifty-two. Jesus. Can I do this instead? I can. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Let I'm about me... to finish sieging down some stuff, unless you've got the deal you want now. Yeah, like another couple of months, I mean, okay. guys will have a, these islands, which should... Uh, oh, uh, uh, come on. Uh, yeah, if you actually siege those, uh, I, I can have you control them in the peace treaty, rather than me having to cede them to you and costing you prestige in doing so. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, that was one. I looked away for one moment and Russia started supporting Pegu's independence. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, yeah. Russia doing that. That's a little bit rough. Yeah, Pegu's been helping me over here in Indonesia and they've got 20,000 troops. It's very handy. I much appreciate any guess. I'm having a problem that a lot of my current advisors that I would like to buff up are not actually Chinese, so I can't improve their quality. Uh. Well, that's a good general game. Shame it doesn't have any siege pips, which is what I was looking for. Alright. Come on, still haven't siege down. Yeah, it took you a while. To to there we go, got it now. Okay, uh, we are at 141 of 142, so I think we need to wait like two months. And uh, I am clipping every single... Okay, that one's just being sieged. Clipping every single Portuguese island or Pacific island off of Portugal. Awesome. I mean, I I don't want you to derail your pawn, so I'll um, no, be no, happy I with some gains against Portugal. I, I, we can I, find I, them I again, I'm point. sure. I mean, the only thing that would be a little bit less, sir, would be. Oh, I could actually... Oh, you're also giving Micronesia. Thank you so much. Jesus. If we wait just a little bit longer, I could give a couple more territories to Mexico, because they're literally only one more score mm. each. Yeah. To be honest, uh, all, all I would ask is um, the territories in Papua New Guinea. Um, and... You're accepting these islands, and you're liking it, young man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I quite like if it, if there wasn't any enemy on Papua New Guinea, that would be great for future wars. And there's New Caledonia as well, um, which I quite like because they could obviously use that as a base. Or uh, oh wait, um, and Tonga as well. Yeah, I think it would look quite good with uh, you have sort having having that. Okay, Portugal, what are you giving me this time? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough. <laughs> Siege Fez, come on, 
Don't pull a Yukon on this one. I have my people stop dying, please. Korean, yeah. Go there ahead. we go. All right. Are you guys ready to see the world change before our very eyes? Yes. I am ready. My body is ready. <laughs> Holy. 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 <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah, what what really changed here? Uh all of the Pacific is now owned by an Asian nation, save nice. for the couple of territories. Yeah, I saw the, the giant Philippines. Cambodian Maluka's suddenly at the end. That looks good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, oh, a lot beautiful. of land Thank you. since it's still paused, you could see how much land was uh given to Mexico because it hasn't ceded away from Japan yet. Mm -hmm. Basically, like a Portugal, like I will give you uh, like and uh, six provinces. No, no, thank I you. <clears throat> Iberia. Oh, I owe you thirty-five favors, apparently. I don't think that's quite a lot. Uh, yeah, look at look at Portugal. It's looking quite good. We still will see the the future. Like after the colonization, oh, wow. then the north and south <laughs> Portugal will have completely different values. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Uh, uh, Chinese southern Portugal. All right. Holy shit. Well, you know, I needed a base to fight Spain yeah. from, and this seems like a Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's solid. Uh, Excellent. Excellent. Yes, yeah, yeah, excellent. Now core everything and do the text that have popped up. Okay, now the other thing is we can fight the Spaniards. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold against the Spaniards. I would like but, to, uh, like, just just wait a, wait a day so I know what I'm dealing with with this because. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and we can wait mm -hmm. enough time for uh, Tibet to start annexing people. Well, the problem is uh, Russia just started supporting the independence, and I've got massive, like, B Dekan and Russia are both supporting the independence of Kiev and Pegu, which are the two I want to annex. I uh, could I we can start fight? annexing Oman. We can fight Russia if you want. I mean, at this point, we could probably—I could probably just declare war on Deccan, and we could do a massive land war against them. I would be in favor of doing a massive land war against Deccan, yeah. Like Deccan's only got two allies, and that's Bengal and Delhi, which means we fight everyone in India at once except Gujarat. All right. So, what do you guys think, Spain or Indian expedition? Um, I have no particular uh, opinions either way. Well, I do know my income is about to triple in a year because counting houses. Yeah, same here. I'm just clicking every single one because I had money. Oh my god, it's still going. Yep, I just used... Like... Twenty-eight thousand dollars, I think. Okay, I, uh, I need. To... I Go sent ahead. you a small gift, Tobo. Did you see that? I saw. It was probably was... put into the industry. Let's just say thank you for uh, your generosity in that piece, Joe. I mean, you did keep everything pretty solid over there, and well, th a lot of help from Tibet has to be said. Uh... It would have been considerably less solid without them. I believe the uh, Tibetan help is why uh, China, uh, China is looking at uh, India. Yes, I clipped... Yeah, it, it really is just those two... Spanish provinces and the Spanish provinces in the Indian Ocean that are left. There is still some more Portuguese South Africa, but I wanted more Portuguese mainland because mm. 
Portuguese South Africa is really easy to take. It's not. It's only going to be like fifteen or so war score. I just need to get Pegu down below fifty percent, and I just spent all of my prestige down into the negatives to placate them. Um, Chaos, I'm just looking at transferring the islands to you if you're still interested. Um, I'm going to have to give you like a. I can give you a stepping stone island. Um, I, I, I don't think that will be necessary. I'm going to be getting a sure? ton of stuff in India soon. Okay, well, I mean, if, if you're still interested in that uh, adventure across the Pacific, I'd be very happy to uh, transfer some territory to you, because uh, you were extremely helpful in that war. Well, thank you. Also, I've taken enough land to make ta Tang South Africa look nice. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, I, I hate that particular wasteland. It's so annoying. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get the uh, wasteland above it just because the Congo is my tributary and I have no interest in conquering it otherwise. I like how France allied one of these nations down here because, like, oh, he's threatening them, and then I, and then they just peace of peacefully accept tributary ship anyway. <laughs> well, actually, I should already have alignment, and oh no, I don't. That's not how it works. Okay, I just got alignment somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. Oh, there. Yes. Well, screw you for not staying friendly to me, Tafiel Alt, but I guess I've uh, used what I need to from you. Who are we fighting next? Uh, India. All of it. Okay. Delhi, Bengal, Dikhan. I can uh, um, match my troops down there, actually. More like good. Yeah. I so um it, it's been goal part of your trade but uh well it was, was it on your hit list so to speak yes, for this been war. on my hit list for so frigging long thing is um I am kind of thinking I want to attack Malacca now and Malacca is aligned with Bengal okay well so if, if we're uh, going to do that then okay change of plans yes uh, I will absolutely go to Clown Town on Bengal. I think I can so, take on Malacca if I fully mobilize all my troops and ships. Um, and, yeah. So that would take them out of the picture. Game for this. So here's the thing that I want to just interject with this. Uh, Malacca is also allied with Brunei in Gujarat. Yeah, I wasn't and, sure uh, if uh, Brunei is a tributary of mine, so I'm, I was... Kind of hoping that you. they... Okay, well, they're not super strong. It would be... They're actually in a war right now against Tonga. Uh, oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. I think if I fully mobilize my stuff, I can hopefully hold my own against a pair of them. Brunei and all that game. And here's the other thing. Um... Bengal's land would be really, 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 really expensive uh, unless we co-belligerize them, which would also, in turn, make us have to fight Deccan as well. Because I know you're you're going to say, oh, we could just fight Bengal regularly. 
you're only going to be able to get like four or five territories off of them unless we coast to them. Uh, I can move my troops yeah, back from... Uh, this is also... Daft does have to have the War of Malacca regardless. Yes. And the other thing about Kosi being Bengal, instead of just regular fighting them, is mm. since that would pull in Deccan, that would cancel their support of independence of Kiva and Pegu. Yes. Which, uh, okay. Well, yeah, that this this sounds good. So how um how do we set this up then? What um these magnets, but so how do we get them as a is that co belligerent? Did you say? You just yes. you just hit a yeah. little green check mark with them. When you I will war, say. Like, I will say my Malaga army and then hit the check mark box next to Bengal. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Will be a little bit weaker, simply because. I have to have them scattered to the seven winds to garrison various angry places that have a little bit too much separatism. So that would be my only problem. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, dealing with uh, a lot of revolts right now. Yeah, like 90,000 of my uh, standing force would be elsewhere. So now my question of maybe I should just start annexing Afghanistan, even though they're pretty useful vassal. Uh, yeah, shouldn't you start annexing stuff in general? Yeah. Like right where you can. Yeah. Shouldn't have like eight, eight vassals or something. I have. Um, Wouldn't no guy be better up? Well, no, you're waiting for to use no guy's cores, aren't you? Yes, I'm waiting to use no guy's cores. So. Afghanistan has some cores in Persia. Well, no, just claims, not even cores, so. So, yeah, Afghanistan's the one to eat. Okay, so I'm starting to annex the Afghans. Rip, they were super useful in the last war. They, they not be were, forgotten. but we still have no guy and Kiva. You're just around, you know. Oman, who is there to basically say, help, help, help. I'm having problems again. Oh, no. So I've got 60,000 troops stuck in Oman right now. The Kirishitan question. Oh, yeah, I'm, that's I'm the... Uh, uh, should I just... Is, is, it, yeah. is it time they ask? So, will I become Christian when I do it, or can I... Is there like outcomes that I do to something know. different? Uh oh, the incident? No, it's a national decision. Oh. It just it's a event event uh, happens. Okay, I'll Google this. The Kiri Shitan question. Kiri Shitan, god damn it. Okay, so uh EU four. Uh Kiri Shitan, Japan. Okay, uh... Japanese events. So I can actively choose to do that, but I don't know what it... I can't figure it out. No clue. E. Kirishitan. Yes, yeah, so instead of getting university, she sent us absolutely spamming. Uh,
Uh, did you guys want to fight uh, the, the Indians? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the plan, I think, is that we're going to have a big war fighting Malacca, Brunei, Bengal, Deccan, and Delhi. Okay. Uh, I will slowly move my units south, then. Yeah, I'm just getting another... I've still got a tiny little exiled army stuck in... Uh, in New Zealand, which is kind of hilarious and annoying. I might just leave them there, but the thing is, they get exiled every war. Trying to figure out the fuck this event does. Oh, Norway exists again. Hamburg. Sup, well, Hamburg. Then. Hamburg and Prussian Scandinavia is just. There's a whole lot of cursed going on there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that the uh, Danish love hamburgers so much. Funny enough, we actually do. Ah, yes, the ham bourgeois. <laughs> so, uh, that Brunei took most of uh, Tondo. So, that and would I, be... Ooh, I right, took the rest. Yeah. All the more reason to fight them. Oh, you're actually Indeed. fighting them. Ah, that's true, actually. They will be in the next war, yes. Hmm. Interesting. No clue what this event does, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. I, I, I don't know, like, it would be hilarious to be Christian Japan, but it's not really in the what in the spirit of this. You would be sad, your whole goal was to, like, yeah, I've been like doing missionary stuff forever, yeah, and you'd have to do the missionary stuff all over again, yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm glad I waited. Guess who just got. More land force limit to go up, go up to 272. Now that's an army. Now I get to uh, spend all of that increased income from making all those counting houses into more army. Alright, I'm sending my fleet off now that it's fully repaired so that it can go pick up those guys who are stuck in New Zealand. Did you really have to ally Tunis Kilwa? Do you realize how annoying that is? It probably does. Okay, so I'm moving uh, 50,000 troops down to uh, India area, somewhere. Slightly in, you know, I'm going to seek him and team Limbu one. Yeah, it looks like they can take that. Let me show this.
It's us. Yes. Good job. What will be nice is that I do have enough decree. Ha! Screw you, game. I just trained all of my forces. Getting full iron means nothing to me. I do have enough meritocracy to get my degree of 10% infantry combat ability for this war, which will help. Nice. Feel bad, like it's so often a misread, like Chimichimekan, like Chimichankan. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's uh, I'm afraid that's hateful. Yeah, it's not a good look. The nation of Chimichangas. Oh god. Right, thirty thousand troops more to uh, let's put them in Moran. Enlightenment and Schmeitenment. I'll just spend all my money constructing things. How ironic that one of the first in nations can embrace me. 100% of my land is controlled by me. Yay. Estates, bye-bye. How ironic it is that uh, one of the first nations to embrace the Enlightenment was the Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Enlightenment is a thing, right? Uh, yes. Spreads out of universities. Which, uh, I hope there is a vast university system in Cambodia. There are some. Several. If you look at the spread Multiple. in... If you look at the spread in China... <laughs> I made sure to make sure it spreads. <laughs> uh, sorry, right, let's take a look. Uh, institutions. Oh, oh, yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> no Every kidding. single province has a university. Wow. Even if it's only at 0 0.12 a month, it, they still have a university. Going to the war. This is a good yes. question for everyone else. Yeah, that's, that's my answer. Very helpful. I'm sure you'll agree. Like whenever you guys are ready, you can start. I'll just. It takes a while to move everything back and forth. <laughs> that's it. Well, I've also got sixty thousand troops stuck in Oman right now. I might actually soon finally get rid of Grand New World Charters, which is absolutely annoying at this point. Yeah, what are you going to do about those troops in Oman, exactly? Uh, hope that the enemy tries to invade there. <laughs> I just realized uh, the terrifying prospect that you force converted Oman to Vashriana. <laughs> uh, yes, yes I did that. I, j I just saw the mug converting over there. God, imagine trying it's... to wear one of those Tibetan monk robes in the desert. Yeah. 
I mean, it's pretty close to what they already wear. It's the, their shamach has to be uh, orange rather than white now. <laughs> I don't see any problems with this at all. It's entirely normal as to what you're used to. You'll be able to adapt just fine. Never stop building. That's my motto. Which is also the main issue that I have in many other Paradox games, such as Stellaris, where I'm constantly building so much, I never have time to actually conquest, and then I don't have enough land to use all of the building that I've been doing, because I didn't take it from other people. <laughs> as other people did. Okay, so. Uh, do you want to control the war, or do you want me to do it? Um, well, I thought Daft was going to be the one who controlled it by, or are we not doing the Malacca's Bengal thing first? That would probably be the best option, I just... Yeah, but in that case, then Daft should be the one to launch it, because Malacca's will be the primary target. Okay, um, Angst, would you be interested in this as well? I guess you could grab stuff from Malacca in the or Philippines. Or you could just help out. Uh, oh, sorry, from some... From Brunei, I mean. Um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, that's basically all I have to gain from it, but I'm definitely up for just helping. Um, problem is just it takes forever to move anything. Um, I think well, you've, you've, yeah. I see you've got a large force in the northern Philippines, so that would they be. They can't cross through, though. Uh, um, and I'm using the ships to move my other armies. So it takes okay. a little bit of time. So, you, so you're saying you're, you're not going to be doing the war, essentially? I, the, yeah, the call me in, but it will take like. It, it'll be annoying, is, is the point. Now, before you declare the war, because it's very important, um, for us to take the land, um, the best option that I would say is co-CB everyone in the war except Gujarat. Because Gujarat, we're not taking anything from. Um, co being Bengal, we'll call in Deccan so we can beat up Deccan. Make them spit back some of Vigianagra that they swallowed earlier. Costa being Brunei will allow you and Angst to take more land off of them, and Kosi being Patani, they're a one territory miner that you're probably going to end up taking anyway, so it will just cost you a little bit less power to do so if you Kosi be them on your way down the uh, Malacan Peninsula. Yeah, and um. I. <sighs> I'm going to need to bring more troops over to the Philippines because Brunei's got 40,000 troops there, which is okay. a bit of an issue. Lowering my troops again. Um, we'll put a, a bunch sorry. of uh, military access and stuff and ask for it. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, cool. What would it be? Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, I am preparing for war, but it's, it's going to take a few months. Uh, if me, it's it should take three years to move everything, and that's if everything doesn't constantly rebuild like it does at the moment. So, mm. no. I know exactly what you mean. I'm having the same thing in the, the Pacific Islands in Indonesia. There's constant, okay, constant I'm going, to, I'm going to go to Oman in a boat and start ferrying my guys over. <laughs> just, I like to imagine it's just a rowboat. It's 17 rowboats, sir. <laughs> Selective breeding. Oh, that's going to help a lot for livestock. It's going to help me and angst a lot. Yep. I got 30,000 more troops over. We're going to move them slowly through the fucking mountains, and then we'll see what happens. I like how livestock's just the entirety of Mongolia. Yeah, I should actually... Yeah, I just got a big deal on livestock and... Okay. Regardless, let's move these troops. Okay. 
All right, I should stop spending over much money and actually plan on uh, being the freaking institution when it starts spreading. Is it spreading? Not for like 15 more years. Okay. Oh, it's going in the capital pretty well. Also, there's another very, very important aspect of uh, the Enlightenment that I think a lot of people have forgotten. What's that? So that... Oh. Oh, that yeah. Glorious coal. There that, needs to be that... an age of... Yeah. I think everyone has a few coal, too. Even... Uh, Khmer has one over and in Indonesia. Race. One in Indonesia and one in Brunei. Oh, okay. So what are you making the rest of us for dinner? <laughs> rude. How oh, rude. Fine, I won't help you in this war. Oh, I've been at maximum monarch points for a while. Oops. Uh, quickly develop stuff. Uh, Nice, so I just got plus 10 army morale for my government reform on the Republic tree. All uh, better. Citizenry. So, uh, yeah. That's nicely timed. Okay, uh, right. So, I've got 64,000 troops in southern Philippines. Uh, I just need to bring more troops over to Borneo, and I'll be good to go. So, I'm actually going to raise my army support now.
Yeah, I will be good to go almost any time now, actually. Uh, troops are loading into transport, so I'm just going to send them over to the uh, northwestern tip of Borneo. You know, if you don't mind the attrition, I can just attach to whatever. Because I kind of suck at the big walls, so... As you can see, uh, Iggy, at the moment I have a lot of stuff in... You have to like one or two later, one or two later, one... Okay, keep moving. Oh, my trip's time to location. Nice, so uh, let me just see if I can recruit another leader. Three out of six leaders, okay, yeah, that's great. Da -da 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 -da. I should probably get an admiral as well. Uh, Oh, nice. Two-star admiral. Uh, right, yeah, I am good to go. So, um, let's see, I'm declaring war on Malacca. And you're cozy being everyone in the war except Gutra. Uh, hang on a sec, I'm messing around with my settings and it's getting messed up. Claims on the like, yes. should I do Imperialism conquest? Okay, Imperialism. And yep. I'm taking Brunei. Do we care about Batani? I don't even know who they are. Uh, yes, they're on the Moroccan coastline. Oh, right, so that will. That, that's the um, yeah, that anyway. Um, Kosibi Bengal. Yep. And Gujarat. Do we want to fight them as well? No. No. No, we don't want to everyone, oh, like, but, the, everyone it, but Gujarat, because we're not going to take anything from Gujarat, and that would just call sure. even more people to fight. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm calling in Japan, Tibet, Tang. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm ready. Rip roaring, ready to go. We, uh, we outnumber them significantly, it would seem. I'm gonna grab uh, this military tech way ahead of time. It's very expensive, but I figure. Now for me to silently judge to see if you did it alright. It looks like it's correct. You win this time. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, there's Deccan called in, so... I don't... Stop, stop, pop ups! Uh, ah, good luck. Okay. Alright. Oh, and Delhi's not in. Interesting. Who was Delhi allied with? I thought Della, Delhi would, would join in this, but I was wrong. They definitely are. They're allied with Deccan, and we didn't. We couldn't yeah. go CB Deccan. Cool, cool. Isn't Deccan in the wall? Is that from yeah, me? Yeah, Deccan in the Delhi. war, but they're not. I said oh, Delhi. Okay. I'm doing what some may consider unholy. I am, dare I say, accepting Portuguese as a culture. Heresy. 
Portugal's not a culture. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, but their language is so different from ours, it's kind of difficult to actually get them to speak anything else. Hadramat has allied with Gujarat. Apparently we're at war with Gujarat anyways. Oh yeah, we're going we were at war with Gujarat, just we're not Kosi being them because it would have also called in Baluchistan. Yeah, gotcha. Uh Rip Pegu. Um <laughs> Take I... down, uh, Pegu. I'm gonna get an army destroyed it. Malaka's focused on is it Sumatra, Southern Sumatra and Yeah. I'm probably gonna get wiped here, but I can no, that's bigger one hundred stack and run around with that. I'm not really in problems with the. Uh... I mean, you they'll be able to run across the island, uh, run over the much heat. I'll go here. Oh, yeah, hmm. yeah uh, some of them escaped here. There's the Congolese separatists I was waiting for. A hu casual 112,000 men stacked on one fort. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be okay there, Japan. I can already hear the people screaming in terror from here. They know what they don't sign up for! <laughs> There's only enough food for half of us. Alright, well, I will start... Seeding whatever I've sieged to bet. Sadly, I have to scroll to get to their name, which I think is the worst part. Yeah, that's definitely You're saying that uh, that Deccan has terrifying military ideas. They're not terrifying Reason. militarily. Well, they're also an AI. Yes. And also, you, you had a three-star general, and they had a none-star general, unless they move the general off. Uh, peace offer from Bengal. Uh, they want to give me war reparations and a lot of money. Deal. I will decline. How do I keep losing naval battles? Uh, what's going on? Yeah, for I'm reference, even... Japan, could you cede the lands that you sieged to Tibet? So that way, when we do peace out Bengal, it's nice and easy. Yeah, I, I was planning just to do that when you peaced out, but I just did not. Yeah, well, you're here unless you're super busy. Joachim. Oh. So uh, about the Deccans not being scary militarily. <laughs> Still not scary of them. Uh, that was me fighting them with twenty five thousand guys and a five thousand siege stack. Not we don't know we don't need anything from Bundelkhand, right? No. Nope. Okay, I'll try to seize them down so we can just piece them out or whatever. They're providing some army, at least. 16. Yeah, I mean, just to get them out of the way. Yeah, something, something, every little bit helps. Yeah. Peace offer from Gujarat. Uh, again, they want to give me money. 
Uh, you could peace Gujarat. Well, Gujarats we don't care about, right? Yeah, we don't care about Gujarat. You could just peace them out and, in fact, maybe do that right now so a little bit of Tibetan force doesn't get... I know okay. it's only 4,000, but... Oh, shit. A bunch of my guys just got exiled. Sorry, I... Oh. Well, that, that's perfectly fine. You could just march them over to Bengal and they'll unexile. That's preferable to them potentially getting attacked. It took me a while to realize, well, a reasonable amount of time to realize that uh, you do actually unexile in lands that you sieged in the war. It doesn't have to be your homeland or anything. Yes, but I was a long ways away from me. But that's the question. Bengalese port shore or something. I don't want to give up that easy. I oh, go to the... I, uh, I had half my army ambushed while I wasn't looking. Ah. Uh, yeah, in uh, Malaysia. What? I, just... I might win the forward battle, but I guess the morale will be fully recovered. Looks like Tibet's gonna have a. Uh... Nasty fight in the highlands. Which highlands? Uh, up there in Delhi. Oh, that one. Yeah, I'm not super worried. Alright, I am advancing on forts. Yeah, look at that. I'm just smashing these guys, and I've got reinforcements coming in in three days. Wow. Can you guys check with, uh, what they're called again? Yeah, they're retreating. Uh, no, it's on the Bundelkhan. Bulkan, Bulk, I don't know, but the, yeah. the small Bundelkhan, yes. Yes, Daft, we might be able to peace out Bundelkhan, and, um, we may as well pause for this, because... Well, we can probably peace out Bengal as well. Since they are yes. full siege. Um, uh, so... Uh, my preference is to, first of all, completely isolate Assam, and second of all, grab as much coastline as possible. Alright, so do uh, sue for peace and just start clicking. Uh, right. You want to completely isolate well, uh, well, Assam? Well, I'll start off with getting like coastal stuff. So let's go for like uh, Chittagong. Okay, so I can give you. The whole coastline, uh, Dhaka, and all of the bordering provinces, and... Nice. Just, just a fun fact, Dhaka and Sadaga and Satgaon are both coastlines as well, just... Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool, yeah. So you can get all of the, all the coastlines, all of the provinces bordering Assam. Um, what else would you like in this room for um, a few more provinces? How much, I need to see how much overextension that's going to be. Um, uh, you can try a separate piece yourself and just select them to see. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, that would be uh, seventy. It would be eighty percent overextension. So you have room for more land. Uh, yes, but we might grab some stuff from Dakar. Well, Maybe. it might take take long enough for you to call them down. That is also a possibility. On... So, uh, what are you thinking, and what would you like me to give you? So you can get the coastline, all the provinces bordering Assam. Uh, that is 69 war score. Hey, so... Uh, 
I could give you a few more provinces if you want them. Um, I'm not sure what you a preference like. Uh, um, let's see. If Hachipur. We any states. Uh, let's finish off this state of Dhaka. I'll just see what that would be for. Oh, that that is finished off this state. Um, Would help if I posted a uh, screenshot. In uh, the finish off. Honestly, um, let's let's keep it at this point because basically all the other obvious things push me closer, and I'd like to have a little bit of wiggle room with my overextension so that we can grab some stuff from uh, Dikan. Okay. Okay. I wasn't, um, well, I wasn't sure because if you wanted to finish off, say, the state of West Bengal, that's a thirty-four and a twenty development city. If you so, wanted to do that, because you're already getting the coastline. If line I take for the them. state of West Bengal, I go over 100% overextension. Ah, okay, then, yeah. Well, you're probably not going to be able to get anything from Deccan then, because Kudak, which borders you um, as a coastal province, is 39 development. <laughs> so. Well, it, it depends if we draw out the wall long enough. So if, if, if he manages to. It takes like three years to call, right? Something like that. So if it takes like that to call, then the oil extension may get down. Do you have enough admin points for it? Yeah, that's true. If you can core everything na uh, as soon as the peace treaty is sent, you might be able I to... I just realized uh, I shouldn't have grabbed my my uh, admin tech way ahead of time. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That, was, uh, that was a brain dead moment from me. So you have like no administrative power right now? I'm earning it very fast, but yeah, uh, it's so it's going to take me like another extra year to core that. Or you and, could even just core part of it before we take land from Deccan, because Deccan's exactly. not coast to be, so the land's going to be super expensive anyway. Yeah. Most, most, likely ships. We'll, most likely we'll just force Deccan to like spit back a bunch of Vigianic our cores and stuff. Yeah, that um, would I'm avoiding taking my... My upload speed is absolutely terrible, so apologies. It's yeah, I can hear that. Oh, it's sticking forever. Can you understand us, Stan? Uh, oh, you you sound like a robot right now. Yes. I, I can hear you fine. I guess I'm sounding oh, like now. a robot. Uh, yeah, you're okay. now. You're sounding like okay, a robot. Okay, processing. Like <laughs> I am Daft Panzer. <laughs> Angry beeping. Um, so, can you see that, Chaos? How, how's that looking? Angry schmeeping. Oh no, it was chaos. No, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, um, that's what I expected. I will send this demand. Beautiful. Uh, shall we on pause? Yes. yes. Cool. Yes. So pause, or unpause, and then pause again, because we can also peace out Bundokan. Although, oh, um, right, yeah. before, oh. before we do that, do you want to move your army out of there? Angst, because I can do that. I don't care. That, uh, it's just all of that army will be black flagged if yeah. we piece them out right now. I just moved to uh, Burhanpur. Yes. Oh, I can just move through Great through, through Delhi. Okay. So, and you can piece. Mm. Oh. You know, I just got this mouse like a month ago, and it's scroll wheel is already not being happy that it's my mouse. It's like jumping a little bit, like it's not properly hooked in. You can piece out the. Uh, the bundle can't now. Sure. Uh, can we pause for a moment? Uh, yeah. uh, right, so, um, bundle can't. I don't actually know where they are on the map. So it's a Deccan tiny. They're blue, kind of. There's a red spot on it. That's what I'm. We we'll have to stitched down. You'll recognize them because they're blue. Dabbidi, oh, dabbidi, 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 dabbidi. it's the <laughs> their flag is like the industrial hazard sign. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's pretty cool. 
Um, I so we, we don't want anything from these guys. I'm guessing because zero percent. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Get us if you can get some money from them, that's basically all we. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, I can get money from them. I uh, can't get any provinces. Yeah, so that's yeah what I mean. we, we, uh, we don't want provinces from them yet. I uh, can get them to release Janapur. Nah. Janapur. Nah. Uh, no nah, treaties. The, the, that country would just get eaten up by its neighbors immediately. Mm. Ironically, to... releasing Janapur and having someone have a chance to vassalize. Well, I guess they've lost a lot of their cores, actually. Yeah, Never mind. Janapur has been actually has really been badly taken down. Yeah, they've been dead for so long, most of their starting land is gone. Uh, do you want them to annul any treaties, could break their alliance with Bengal? Uh, uh, I don't... Obviously, um, Bundelkhand being allied with people is not a problem at all, because they're sure. so just be weak. Just it because, because yeah. it would be annoying, why don't you make them unally Vijay? Uh, yeah, I could do that. Wait, why? Look. So that way it's easier for you to take land from BJ without having to go kill him. Without having to march to Bandukan. It's a minor thing, who, but it's... Who, oh, who, oh, um, who me or, or Chaos? Chaos. Chaos. Um, yeah, well, sure, I can do that. It's, it's not going to cost anything extra. Chaos has mentioned repeatedly how much he wants to uh, take BJ. I didn't say take VJ, I said help, like, force Dekan to, like, spit up some of the cores it's taken. Oh, I thought you wanted their land. In the well, future. I do ultimately, but... But that's still a long ways off. Yeah, there's... Uh, right, are we there? resuming? We're resuming. Yes. They're actually pretty close for me just straight up being able to vassalize them in a war, humorously enough. Hmm. Yes, you can pause whenever. Or unpause. Oh, whenever. sorry, yeah. Uh... Alright, so we've kicked off most of the people. All we need to do is just beat up Deccan enough. And then uh, it's just the Islanders. Well, uh... And massive naval battles out there. <laughs> Hundreds of boats, thousands of sailors. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been getting beaten up actually because I wasn't concentrated in one place and uh, oh, no. my micro have been. I'll save you. Scoring some points. I think I've got the upper hand now, though. Although uh, I have had to basically abandon uh, Sumatra to uh, hundred thousand Malacan troops. Well, I'm going to take uh, Malaysia. If Japan is still here, would Japan care if like half of the Chinese troops went over to Malaysia? It's, uh, I think I think I could uh, eventually win this. It's just. Uh, but yeah, it's like, gonna... I I don't know. I don't understand the question. Why would I care? Because you wouldn't have as much backup. Oh. Oh, um, no, go ahead. It's fine. It looks like Deccan, realizing that there's so many troops in their homeland, are electing to try and siege Tibet, Tibet instead. Yeah. Oh, where are they? Oh, in Tibet. <laughs> Martin, <laughs> the Funny. Wait, can they get in through the south? Oh, no, there's not a way into Tibet proper through the south. They can get a little ways into Burma, but that's it. They have some colorful clothing, though. Yeah, there's one problem. That's a uh, castle, <laughs> and they have a yeah. lot of cannons, so yeah, that's yeah, going to yeah, be no. My guys are making their way across as fast as they can. Jesus Christ. The f sophisticated affluence of Great Britain are giving a chance for us to catch up in technological process via the means of knowledge sharing. This would cost us a monthly fee of 10% of our income, or 45 ducats a month, just to get knowledge sharing in my capital region. No, thank you. Uh, any reason why I shouldn't just annex Batani? 
No. Uh, it was uh, Tony. <laughs> oh, there, there are one province in uh, uh, Malaysia. It's run uh, by Malacca. Well, who is it? Yeah, uh, there's, that was the reason why I suggested Kosi being them, because it's less painful to do so. Yeah, I'm just on I'm here for a lesson to gain. I want to see if I can extract 20,000 troops from uh, Sumatra before they get overwhelmed. Run, run to the ships. Oh, I should have been fighting some ships here. Um, yeah, I am definitely ahead here, but ouch. Okay. Great theft, and all the Philippines should be able should be traversable, basically. That's ridiculous. I, I ended up with sixty four thousand troops in the northern Philippines, and I, they haven't been engaged at all. <laughs> I guess that's the way it goes. Uh, Brunei just uh, wandered off with our army. I've saved the castle in Ava. Hero. Oh, sank the Brunei flagship, that's a good thing. Oh my, they did not retreat very far. I might be able to wipe them. Yep, that, that's uh, Deccan army just deleted. Nice. I like 70,000 men too, that was not small. Holy heck. The only thing is, as nice as stack wipes sound, you do get some of the money, uh, some of the manpower back from mm -hmm. a stack wipe. Mm -hmm. But then they have to retrain it, which is a little bit more expensive than just letting them regenerate. Yeah. Nika, there's just a standoff over there in uh, Palawan. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to, well, if I keep blockading, actually, no, they'll be able to attack still, won't they? Wait there in a moment. Actually, if I keep my fleet there, can they cross from Tay Tay to Palawan, I wonder? Because if not, I'm... Yes, because it's directly connected. There's no straight crossing between Palawan and Tay Tay, so yeah. honestly, you could probably just march on top of them, because you out, you know... Have 64 there, 41. Is land yeah. connected? Fine. I'm coming with, uh, with more troops too. Should be completely fine. I'm, 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 you know what? I'm marching directly into Palawan. I, uh, I'm going in there. I see that uh, Tibet is already making friends with their new vassals. New subjects. We have new vassals? Uh, as I realized, new vassal was a was wrong word. Um, I see you have Bengali separatists already. Your new subjects love your uh, existence. Oh, hey, I just noticed that. So... Yeah, I saw your army there. I thought they were moving there. You know, the army was actually just sitting there, and for some reason, autonomous rebel suppression doesn't autonomously suppress rebels. Finally, I removed the new old charters bullshit. Okay, it took only took like 100 years. Uh. All right, I killed the Brunei on me. Ooh, that was uh, slightly less painful than I was fearing. I think I think my ploy here is to peace out Brunei and then uh, concentrate everything on Malacca. I've do, do you I'm, not obviously, want Brunei sorry? land? Um, yeah. Well, what, what I say peace out, I mean uh, force them into a peace while they surrender stuff. That's what I mean. Yeah. Also, um, for reference, I don't know which one of you is going to get. Uh, the center of the Philippines, but one of those territories 
does produce coal. <gasps> oh god. Oh, interesting. And let's see. Oh, please don't be loose on. It is Cebu. Uh, yeah, I, I don't mind if that death gets there. Uh, well. Yeah, I, um, I don't know if I'm going to have, like, a big production economy, so... I, uh, would be open to doing a deal. I mean, that'll be your... Technically, that would be your third... set of, uh, coal. Yeah, I, I, I do have a few coal. coal already left. You are quite welcome to take that. Um, what I care most about is Ma Mindoro, uh, because mm -hmm. it's part of the Southern Lusan est estate. Estate. Yeah. Um, so you can maybe take probably... Tay to a Palawan, I guess, but it uh, doesn't, doesn't matter. It really does. Uh, Palawan is only like interesting because of. Um, What do you call it? Yeah, exactly what you call it. Uh, yeah, just oh yeah, because because of the movement into Mindoro. If you want to get complicated, that Palawan also includes the island of Sulu, which he's had for ages. Oh god damn it! Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't care about that. It's only because of the movement. No. It, it really is. I don't, the regions here are really messed up in that way. Yeah. But yeah, like it's only problems I care about is Mindoro. Uh, you're very welcome. I won't say no to land, you know, but you don't you don't have to. Um, oh, uh, I hadn't looked at India for a while, and I just noticed it's it's basically all uh, Tang and Japanese and so Tibet right now. <laughs> yeah, we could probably. Hey, I Age forgot. Age of revolutions. I forgot to do the thingy before that. Oh well. I'm gonna have to roll a three-star general now. Out of thin air. Pass the abolition of slavery. I can do. Can I do that? No, I can't. I don't have. A, I don't have any slaves, sadly. <laughs> Ottomans first to select that, which means slaves are now useless. Well done. Here's a human rights. Truly. Uh, by the way, about those Janissaries. Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> decadent? Not decadent <laughs> enough? Ah yes, of course. I will take knowledge sharing from Ludenberg. Yeah, it's a deck. Actually, pump a nation up like that. Like, yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, just give fifty ducats a month to Ludenberg. <laughs> uh, Bernoy is uh, they're offering to become my tributary and give me some money. I think I'm going to decline that, right? So I think I eventually want to incorporate them into the greater. Uh, just kind of sabotages the whole goal of taking their stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think it should be part of the greater prosperity sphere of uh, Cambodia. Yeah. Actually, yeah, mind, we could... mind if we uh, pause for a moment? Yeah, I want to see if I can grab a hold of stuff from them. I. By the way, before you do that, um, mm. Japan, if you're oh. not going to keep Cebu and Pene, be sure to see oh, them uh, before he clicks them. Yes. Actually, uh, I'm happy for you to keep Pene. Uh, if... Are you completely sure, Daft? Yeah. That is yeah. that's, that's going, it's going you're, to... you're killing a cold province. Also, it's going to also, give. Oh, Pene, actually, is, yeah, troop, troop movement. Pene right, is also so going be... to cut off your access to Palawan and Mindoro. Actually, yeah, uh, uh, thinking about it, yeah. Yeah, Mandora was a place I wanted, but honestly, if you want Mandora too, that's fine. It's well just because of the sound loose and stuff. Oh my god, so uh, I have to walk all the way around? Yes. Uh, I might not want the Mandora. Actually, no, yeah, I, I think it's 
it, it kind of looks ugly on the map unless Japan has Mindanao, Mindoro, I think. Uh, well, make up your own mind. Yeah. I don't have to look at it. <laughs> yeah. Just just let me know what what uh, transfers you want. You have control of this piece. Um. Could you give me a... Uh, uh, what? Wait. We say Sabre was of Coal Province. Um, yes, you have Sabre Coal is. is have a look. It's uh, yeah. It's the one in the middle. Sabre. Technically, you have less coal than Japan does. Hmm. You have a lot of coal right now. Um, at the moment, yeah. I have. One, two, three, four, cool. Five. Uh, I could I ask you to to give me Seibu then in return for you could get Mindoro um, and uh, Pane if you want, and that could be like no, a Japanese. Pane makes no sense. Ah. Well, I mean, if, if... <laughs> Pane is in your territory. Like, oh, in the states, you're... state. Okay, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. That makes sense. So, yeah. If we do, if we do it by states, then so. Um. Panacios. Thank you. If, yeah. If you could give me Pane, and I will give you Mindoro. Yeah, that'll make sense. There we go. And Punch what's? And uh, you know we can do we can do additional exchanges of territory at a later date, I guess. All right. Uh, let's see what I can get from Brunei. I will focus on the Philippine area. Uh, da, 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 wait. Uh, Brunei. Okay. Sue for peace. Uh, wait. Ah, uh, what's going on? Uh, I keep misclicking for some reason. Sue for peace. Click all the red things in the Philippines. Um, we're still good. I can get a bit more territory, so... Yeah. Well, the ground movement yeah. in Philippines is so weird. So, there's no crossing in Manila Bay, so you have to walk, but you can still walk all the way around. Yep. That's so strange. Uh... Right, okay, yeah, so I can peace out Brunei, I will get a little bit of Borneo, Kutai and Barao, and we'll get all of the Philippine, Philippine territories taken from them. Yeah, the whole so. weirdness of the islands in the Philippines is why, way back before you guys decided to split it, is why I was, like, one person needs to own it, because otherwise it's a really weird... Well, it's um, military access it's going on, so so I can all, it, all, it, all it works, I crush if I want. We'll, we'll figure it out. People I want them to uh, release nations. Oh, if you get them to release Tondo, no, maybe not, not a good idea. Eh. Um, they've, yeah, they don't really have any treaty. I get them to break their alliance with Malacca, but I don't think that's really necessary because I probably want to fight them both. Yeah, anyway, spend your, in spend your uh, points, uh, yeah. your score to take yeah. stuff, I think. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, I will suffer sixty-two percent overextension from this. Is that is that bad? That's totally manageable. Uh, as long as you're staying under uh, hundred, you're fine. Yes. Cool, cool. All I right. mean, you will have revolts, but who cares? Yeah. No, All right. So... Thank you, guys. So, are we good to unpause? Uh, you ready? Yes. Yeah. One, two, three. I'm um, pausing. I mean, technically, I think we have enough war score to just peace out with Malacca or otherwise uh, punch land out of Deccan, but as far as I'm aware... Um, We're decking Deccan. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, Tibet wanted land from Deccan, whatever amount that would be, which would have to wait until after the current land I mean, land honestly, I don't, I don't particularly need land, and I can... Like, we'd have to wait a while to take it, so I'd much rather instead of taking land from them... Have us, uh, uh, really give, like return some cores to Vijayanagar. What? Tibet occupied something. No, it's me. Okay, a bit of them. Uh, I've had peace offer from Deccan. Uh, there were Ruiz, or Orissa, and Jarkhand's. No territories given up. Where are Orissa and Jarkhand's cores? Orissa is at Kadak. 
so that's right next to yeah, you. Yeah, that's 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 not too bad actually. Yeah, if you if you release Orissa, I'm not sure about where Jarkand is though. I guess Daph can check that from the PC. Jarkand uh, is can south I? of the uh... Huh? Oh, wait, sorry, how, how do I how do I check it? Sorry, from the base team. Um, look at the uh, release release nations tab of the peace deal. I so th this is what they're offering me. Sorry, so I'll just uh, check it, but you know. So so I go to offer them a treaty, right? And I look at uh, Jarkans. I can't see it highlighted on the map. Uh, Oh, that's Patani. Ah. Oh yeah, the uh, the little um yeah green yeah blob in there. You know, one. Left, I will just like not have them really really stuff and just take it. Um, uh, yeah, I because, I because then you could have a penis. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you should take uh, like the the big schlong there. Then you have like a. Uh, the term is the Malay Peninsula. Oh, alright, like, um... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah like sorry, to... to uh, 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 Jutland is the, uh, is the dick growing oh. out of uh, Germany's forehead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Scandinavia is Russia's dick, and it's the biggest one, so there we go. <laughs> well, that's true. No one talk about what oh, okay. it looked like when it was connected to Finland. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry to uh, uh, this is uh, Dakan. Oh, really just a circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, and then you have uh, Florida, which uh, may not be the biggest, but it sure is the wildest. <laughs> it's, it's the <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, Where it's so mature. Uh, okay, anyways, imagine, I can't get my forces onto Sri Lanka, but... Um, yeah, sorry, so Kirsty, you were talking about finding out where uh, Jarkand is. I don't... Okay, okay actually, yeah, so, so it's... Here's, uh, here's they are... you, you go to the PC, and I see then it. you go to yep. uh, Release Nations. Actually, I can just I see look. It. Oh, Jarkand's right up there. Actually, the Jarkand, two, releasing Jarkand and Arrested sounds kind of good. Because uh, Jarkand is too grab. Jarkand is two provinces on the border of Bengal. Yes. I see. Uh, let's see what Orissa is on the coast. The three provinces. It's not particularly amazing. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. true. But they're three very valuable provinces. So maybe just go for releasing. Well, let's see. Wait. So I I should decline their peace offer, right? Because they yeah, always deco offer. They, they'll always give you a crappy peace offer. So um, I can. Tell them to release Jorkan, release Orissa, and do we want them to give well, up territory? Just, let's, let's just do Orissa. Let's do Orissa, and okay. how many uh, cores can we get them to return to Vijayanagar? Vijayanagar, like, let, let's at least reconnect Vijayanagar. So, here, he, before you do that, here's a thing. Yes. If I get a little bit more absolutism... I could probably vassalize, like, force vassalize Vichy. Okay. How does that work to my benefit? Um. I suppose I don't really need you know, anything in the core Mandel node. Also, uh, not to be to ring anything, but I remember, like, many sessions ago, Daft talked about interest in, uh, in having uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, um, that's. I I don't That's, really need anything I feel like in the uh, in the Coromandel node. My, I think that's a bit outdated now. Uh, superseded, shall we say, by the fact that uh, Hobo has gone all the way through Africa and into Portugal. Um, yeah, I also think like um, is, that's, a, it, that's a good point for Hobo to to get to yeah, the DJ. I did, um, it's, 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 yeah, it was it's like it was partly just kind of a nice idea of having Sri Lanka, but. It, it was also kind of forward base against the European expansion, but that's a bit. Of and a it was there. also <laughs> Theravada at one point, but it is not anymore. Oh, oh, I didn't even know that. It was oh. yes. Yeah, I'm still still was kind of interested in uh, Sri Lanka, but well, it, uh, anyway. I would equally be happy for it to be here. 
whatever piece we do, I, as long as it like knocks Deccan down to size just a little bit, mm. without in without strengthening Gujarat, Delhi, Bengal. Yeah, so I'd have to release nations that are vaguely close to us, because then we can kill them. So yes, or release nations in the south. Which is to say, returning cores to Vijayanagar, and if you look at the map of Vijayanagar has a lot of cores left in the south. I mean, um, here, here's, hmm. a, here's a thought. I did this before, and I was salty that I couldn't make a client state there. Oh my god, that, I just thought about that. I could make a client state there, but nah, that would be more annoying. You could also release Madurai, which is south. Um, and that would probably um, be an alternative to taking over VJ. Can't actually do that because it's over 100% war score, even with nothing else. Madurai? Yeah, well, uh, can't select I it. I guess they have some reasonably sized cities, so they'd probably be over 50% since they're not co CV'd. Yeah, war, war score for that would be 118%. So. Should have co CB'd them then. No, well, we could move the trade. Alright, so sorry guys, what am I doing here then? So should I get them to release Orissa and some BJ Anago cores? Is that the point? I would say Orissa and some other northern territories like Garajat oh, um, or uh, uh okay. So uh, if if we here, here's a key thing. If we make them give up at least one Vijianagar core, it gives them a truce with Vijianagar. Okay, you know, uh, yeah, I can do it. Actually um, the Arissa, just those three provinces, is 68% uh, piece off of value, so I'm already... Why don't you return Vani? It's only five development. Uh, that will be It sounds for Lanka. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I, yeah, I can do that. That's about 79 uh, piece off of value, so I can do some more stuff. Could you return uh, uh, Madurai to Vigianagar, just so that they're connected? Ah, uh, no. So no, that's, that's that th thirty two percent for Madurai is uh, yeah too much, yeah, too unfortunately. Okay. Well, at least I give if we them, can unite them on Sri Lanka. That's pretty good. Yeah, and then yeah. you can take war reparations and get the wealth of India. Yeah, yeah, the war reparations yeah. will be big. I can get some other random provinces if it would do any good for Fiji on uh, like. Uh, Kamari, uh, Kamari on the southern tip of India. It, can be uh, it wouldn't be connected. Yeah. yeah uh, okay, so. We're doing connecting separate provinces. Would just be and okay. yeah, let's not worry too much about restoring Fijianagar since really this isn't about helping Fijianagar. Mm -hmm. It's about making sure that the, the uh, Deccans can't move back into that area easily. So we've got 21 walls, uh, piece of value to play with. So I can get Tibet's uh, provinces uh, on what is now your coastal border. Um, Mirbani? Mirbanj? Mirbanj can go to Tibet's. Um, my overextension is... Somehow my overextension got higher. I'm not sure how my overextension got higher than so... it was earlier. So would you rather not have any territory? Well, let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll look at what, at how much overextension these places would cost me. Um, okay, I could get Meyer Bonge safely. Meyer Bonge sure. is safe. And I can get any any one extra province bordering that. Or... Um, Kurda probably. Yeah, if Kurda. you're not releasing Arjit. Kurda's Kurda's nice and cheap. Okay. Oh, wait, uh, uh, aren't, aren't we releasing Arissa? Yes. So, so this is is wait. Let me just check. Kurda is not part of Arissa, so that doesn't matter. Yeah. So this is releasing Arissa, giving Varni to Vijayanagar, giving those two provinces to Tibet, and I probably get them to. Yeah, I get, they'll seed some money as well. Does that okay, sound that good? Uh, okay, okay. Yep, I can handle Mayor Bunch and Kurta. That's only going to be. Alright. See, that's what Arissa looks like when they're released. It's not that big. No. Like, I can, original. I can hardly see Ar the name on the map. Original Arissa 
the reason why it ends up so big is it has like two or three vassals over there that they annex is really quick. Are you guys good to unpause, by the way? Um, how are you yeah. doing for time, by the way, Chaos? Because I know you said uh, oh, I'm that fine, stops I'm you. Fine. Okay, okay, yeah, fine. You, you were playing think... for like another 45 minutes about 50 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was asking. But uh, yeah, okay, so I'll unpause. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Are you still there, Angst? Yes. Sorry, that was probably a bit boring for you because I know, I know you weren't really involved in uh, India. Cool. Okay. I got I got a province, so I'm fine. Oh, okay, cool. Now mm. is the concept of we may want to wait for uh, Khmer to core its land, hint, hint, wink, wink, if it hasn't started doing that already. Uh, yeah, I, I totally have, yep. Uh, yeah, that's why I see those people appearing on Panay and such. <laughs> <laughs> because unless you want to go over 100% overextension, you're just going to have to be basically dealing with uh, a, like 20 rebel stacks for the next 10 years. Yeah. Are you saying I like Probably shouldn't try to push for much territory from. Mohammed. I'm saying we could possibly wait until you've cored all of the land from Brunei. Okay, where yeah, you yeah. Have um, where you can take more land from Malacca. Mm -hmm. I have also peaked over 200 ducats a month. Alright, I've cored everything I got. Well, that's obnoxious. Um, Deccan immediately guaranteed the independence of Orissa. <laughs> Whatever, we'll fight him again. Yeah. Just... I'll just march back to Manchuria and then march back to India. This is completely fine. It just takes forever. Honestly, I do think that I can take them. Um, I I don't understand how Malacca's army is able to make a crossing from Sumatra to. Uh, they own both Sumatra. sides of the street. Yeah, they own both sides of the street, so they can't be blocking. Uh, okay. Even though my yeah. whole ships, my whole fleets there. Yep, fleets well, okay, do not blockade I'm... if the fleets do not stop if there's if you own both sides of the street. Mm. Although apparently their AI is broken and they keep thinking of going through and then they uh, yeah. are rejecting the idea over and over again. Seems to be the case. It's not a bug. Uh, not that we are going to do it now specifically because I don't need it, uh, but I have a mission to control like the Chinese trade for like 75%. Maybe we can game it if you operate like just having one month where you have like a 75% with uh, through trade, trade chips. But I'm not even sure that can take it because it's like you have so much what, power in there. What, what trade? Uh, it's like the. It's a Chinese. It's a. It's, uh, let's see. Any Chinese? No, it's a. Uh, Guangzhou Bay. 
Bo High C and Hang So. Where's Gong I can't see. Oh, What's... to give the territories. Yeah, like the trade. I need to I need trade control of it, but I think can. Where's Gong So, babe? Because I see Beijing and stuff. Yeah, I don't. No. What's what Gong So, babe? What the hell? Guangzhou Bay, I need to trade power for that. Guangzhou Bay. So it's Canton. Okay, so uh, it needs Canton, Bohai, C, Bohai. That's probably Beijing. Yes. I will not be able to do that anyways. But if, 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 I, if we could manage that, like just for a tick or something, so complete the mission, then I get a, 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 a new, another merchant permanently. But I don't. I don't, uh, I, don't uh, I kind of don't care. I, I more merchants was I would, I would actually be annoying because I can't really. At this point, I literally have, literally have nothing to uh, probably funnel um, the trade anymore. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this goes to Panama. This goes to Caribbean. There's absolutely nothing for me to gain in trade for this point. Well, in, uh, except more income, but yeah. Mm. Well, screw you too, Russia. Mm. Is Russia being a dingbat? What? That doesn't make sense. Why does it... Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Russia. What? That doesn't make sense, yes. Oh yeah, not, not you, sorry. <laughs> no, that's, it's, it's a known fact that Russia doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, about that, I'd, I'd love to fight Russia soon. Also up for a rumble. Of course, I should like get out of being at minus four hundred diplomatic power first. Yeah, that was the other thing of technically, even with imperialism, taking land from people you don't directly declare war on still counts. I'm okay with that. Well, time to become the world's biggest trade of livestock. If that's even possible, I don't know what Tang has, but you know. Technically, I think I have more livestock provinces than you. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. Uh, I guess mine are larger, <laughs> so I think we probably have about 50 50. Yeah. And plus, Tibet has quite a few, too. 
because you know nothing's produced over there in Tibet they'll use. I mean, what? <laughs> And I think they're, beef. I think Tibet on beef. Oh, call for peace. That's annoying. They're really, really good at making wool sweaters. Yeah, that's true. Pachi, mm -hmm. how do you still have 7,000 troops with 50k manpower? You idiot. I think some big battles here on Sumatra. I just noticed a ton of rebels popping up all over Khmer. Uh, Tang's on it. I know there's, I know there's some in uh, whatever Ireland is. But... Have a look um, at your homeland, sir. You've got a hundred thousand rebels. What? <laughs> How? What? You should be fine. There's tanks everywhere, but you know. Uh, what the heck? I wasn't even paying attention. I've got no idea how well that happened. Ah, um, they're particularists. They're not yeah. very tough. They're the least dangerous type of rebel. They're not particularly well, tough. Um, this may be a good point to you for me to peace out with. Uh, I... Like, uh and then maybe. Do you want to carry on from it? I don't see any reason why we shouldn't carry on, other than the call for the peace. The Tang are about but... to deal with your rebels. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm at ninety nine percent. I I don't know. They've got well, actually. They've got, what's the I progress could... on your coring of Bernade land? Um, it's gonna take another year. That's fine. It's fine. Or oh well, not for all of it, but for some of it. Okay, well, we'll we will persevere. I have defeated the Malacan armies in Sumatra, pretty much. Now we must defeat your rebels in true Victoria 2 style. Mm. Where half the game is fighting your own people. Yes. At least that's what I'm led to believe. Hey, Braden, do you want to ally me? Yes. Actually, that's kind of stupid because you found building colony. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll just deal with that if that becomes relevant. Oh no! So Vinland got completely swallowed. Ah. Oh. Thank you, Tang, by the way. Eh, the troops are passing by. <laughs> so I was going to, be to passing uh, through the area, so we thought we would uh, destroy them for you. Yeah, may as well shoot. You mind if I destroy them? I just hired that guy. God damn it. Um, who we got? Psycho group. To sail over on top of those Malacan peasants as well. Oh, thank you. I'm... Much appreciated, sir. I see Pegu is here as well. Pegu's really been a bro in these wars, I have to say. True bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that they don't have support of independence from three different nations. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm, I am I am going to annex them, though, at this point, though. Perhaps your move is to make Brunei as your little helpful uh, vassal or something like that. Yeah, the coastal nation, the nations that require boats to do that are just a no. That's a, that's <laughs> a reasonable point. Oh, Malacca has one little island left. Two, two little islands left. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, well, they, they still have some stuff in Sumatra as well. Uh, 
it, they're offering to become a tributary and give me one territory. Yeah, I think you can do that. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. you can attack those guys in the Blind Ben Gun. Uh, Java. Where is it? Java. You've got a big stack that's taken some attrition, so just march them in, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So that, that was the plan. I was just a bit distracted there from that. Perfect. Well, I've got my eyes out on your area since I am now. I've lowered my troops. I'm just recovering manpower at this point. Cool. Yeah, I am already sailing my army over for the next war, which is just going to be a personal war against Killua, so. It'll be fine. Although. I do requ humbly request. Well, I guess if I do this while we're in the war, it doesn't matter. Never mind. I was going to humbly request um, Kumar unalling and tomorrow, but uh, since oh, we're sure. in a war and I'm about to fight and tomorrow anyway, it'll just break the alliance anyway. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to do that. Is that African nation, right? Oh yeah, yes, uh, Madagascar. That's Madagascar. Mad Madagascar. I'm just going to co CB them in this war against Kilwa and force tributary them, pretty much. Oh, I forgot the Comoro Islands when we fought Portugal. That's okay, they're close enough to South Africa. You'll have another Portuguese war, so. Yep, I still need to unite South Africa and, you know. Take Iberia. Russia, Russia, actually has, okay. Russia actually has a smaller army than me now. You do too, what the fuck? Me? Yeah. Yeah, well, you probably... Like, a lot of it is in America and stuff, so it's like kind of spread out. It's, I, yeah, I wouldn't think... Really? You went both quantity and offensive ideas, which is why yes. I just have offensive ideas. Yeah. I like quantity. A lot. Mark and flagship sunk. Good riddance. My navy is just so ass. Like it's horrible. I my navy really needs to be thoroughly rebuilt. I, I think you need to upgrade a lot of ships and rebuild the losses that I've taken. I've taken quite a lot. Of, yeah, in that last battle I lost quite a few ships, but I won. Okay, I've got 100% against Malarca, actually. Um, I wonder if we want to peace out here, because... I'm still coring stuff, but it's going to... Because I started recently, it's going to take a long time. Uh, so... Oh, actually, no. Uh, November, October this year, I will have cored some more stuff. So maybe that will be uh, the point to peace out. Yeah, the call for peace isn't... Well, I guess it's starting to get a little bit bad, but... Tearhook gets the quiet alarm as they realize that I've stopped uh, keeping them as tributary. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh, Chongo. They're building a spy network on me. Why would the Tibetans build a spy network on me? A fine question, one which you will consider for until I have 25 spy network on you. What does that mean? <laughs> Te it, it, does it help to remind you that imperialism exists so you can just declare war on them without a claim? Yes, but I'd have to wait out for the truce anyways. Do the claims still make stuff cheaper? Yes. No. But you, but you, important. You do still want to use the imperialism CB rather than the conquest yes. CB because it makes yeah. it cheaper to take things, and uh, you can take land without having any uh, additional diplomatic cost, even if you don't have a claim on it. 
Yeah, now I've got a five year five year truce with Tier Hood. Which I'm going to do in order to finally complete my conquest of Nepal focus. Nepaling it took you this long. <laughs> So, uh, when do we piece up Malacca? Well, uh, in October and November this year, I will get a lot more cores, and uh, that should lower my array extension. So, if if we could keep fighting until then, fighting, quote unquote. Uh, well. Be in the state of belligerence. Yelling obscenities at the people that we're currently sitting on top of. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I meant. I mean, I've already moved on to my next war. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. There it is. Tang tribute. God, that's going to cost 200 diplomatic power? Fine. Because I can't, because they're in the island, I can't, I, I'm never going to border it tomorrow, so. I have to share a land border with someone specifically in order to try and tributary them. That's annoying. Which is why I'm just doing it from uh, Kosi being them instead. Mm. Will you accept? Oh, can I still get war reparations from you anyway? No. I can take your money. Okay, there we go. I got... Wait, um, do I have one more core on the way? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, if we could... Oh, wait. Yeah, well. Let's see what I can do now. So, pause game. So off a piece. Uh, does anyone want anything from Malacca in terms of them cancelling treaties and stuff? Or nope, no, just take land. I think it I'm is... thinking. Thinking I take as much as I can on the uh, the Malay Peninsula. You could maybe. Make them unally Brunei just so your next war with Brunei is a direct war and doesn't cost mm. you extra diplomatic power, but that's really about mm. it. I. Oh, and. Yeah. I think I'll probably want to fight both of them anyway, so. Yeah, it's just you could fight both of them separately if they're not allied with each other. Kind of thing, you know? Oh. Uh, hmm. And then you wouldn't I have see. to worry about sitting on one of them waiting for the chorus to finish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's only going to cost me one province, actually, so I could do that. Uh, so, Malika will cede territory all the way down the Malay Peninsula to Bahang, uh, which is a big province. It's so leaving them three three territories at the southern tip of Malaysia. Uh, so that's actually given me a lot of provinces. So quite small provinces, but provinces nonetheless. And break the treaty with Brunei. So yeah, I think that's that's a pretty big win. Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah, I'll get... They don't have much money, but I'll, I will uh, get what I can. Question. Is the land that you're taking still going to put you over 100% overextension? Uh, yes. It 100% is. is the key of when it becomes dangerous. Uh, you can still manage it, but it's... You will have it's... constant huge rebellions. Uh, I'll yes. send some guys to your land if you send me some money. Um, yeah, it's fine. I've got... Well, it might not be fine, but I, I'm i willing to risk it. I, I can it's afford to keep my army... 
I can afford to keep my armies raised. Um, my By fleets the way, can be muffled. I just want to interject. Hmm. I don't know if you're taking Bintan or Linga, but apparently those are still Tibet for some reason. Huh? Uh, what, what are those, sorry? The two islands. Oh, no, I'm not taking any islands in the Speed Sail, that's okay. all. Uh, unless I'm Tibet would like. From... Oh, interesting, yeah, that's very weird. Or Pego or something, Pego was... Oh, yeah, yeah was probably very, very interesting. I mean, if if you'd like that, Tibet, I'm Actually, more than happy to give that, you this. That, that is kind of funny. If Bin Ten became mine, I'm like, yes, I have Tibet in Singapore. It would be Singapore, but with more stupas. <laughs> I see. Uh... If you're not planning on taking that area, though, don't worry about it. Let's see. Uh... Um. It doesn't say anything about it going to Tibet when in Coconut Province. It's he, going he, to me, apparently. He's already he's already seated it back. I'm already, yeah, oh. already seated it back. Oh, too. okay, okay. Well, in that case, uh, take yeah. the Wang. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's roll the dice. Beauty. Your tip hey. looks kind of sick, man. <laughs> I don't it's not going to stay that way. Checked out. Oh God, the name of the name of Khmer is now just third school. <laughs> <laughs> um, would this be a good place to pause, guys? Because it's it's two a.m. here, and I should probably yeah. get to bed. Um, right, uh, I mean, the more. Um, oh wait, hang on. I just need to let a bit of time pass because I need to send yeah, them actually, to Pegu and start annexing them. Can we wait two years? I, oh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Because uh, then, then I know what I wanted to do, so to say. Yeah, my... Uh, what I'm doing is very minimal, so... Wow. Ottomans are being hyper-aggressive. They even took land from Yemen, and they just declared an imperialism war against Hijaz, and there's, oh, by the way, Yemen. Now, once imperialism comes along, a lot of the bets are off in uh, terms of AI warring against each other. I feel like this has been a successful session. Yep, revolts are starting, but apart from that, it's been a... Uh... So get this whole session. Ow. Okay, and tomorrow found my one weakness and that I was splitting my forces too much to blanket siege. Come on, get there in time. Give you a good general because you're probably... Yep, you're not going to get there in time. But now that you have a good general, you're fine. I have uh, also abandoned, entirely abandoned the concept of harmony in uh, <laughs> China. Because it's like, well, I shame could harmonize. On, shame on your horse. I could harmonize with the, uh, with the people, but why would I do that? The only problem is it costs harmony every time I convert a territory. So. Since I've said screw it, my harmony is now going to be at a permanent zero. <laughs> Which does hurt, and kind of defeats the uh, purpose of playing tall China, given lowered harmony increases development cost, but... But Changxing is no longer... Confusion. It's a bit confusing to me that you're not like fully harmonious. Changxing is no longer tributary. When did that happen? I'm going to make them my tributary, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Give me stuff. Thank you. I'm oh, still happy, Hobo. Anger. Wait, 
Do I have... Oh, that's why. That's what I'm... So, in the dark future of the 18th century Indonesian region, there is only war. Rebellions everywhere. Hmm. The Imperium of Khmer versus foul, stinking rebels. Does this mean I can... Alright, so I think I'm going to get trade ideas next because I'm starting to get stretched out to a degree where having extra merchants will be useful. Remember that time that you realized that Lahasa was utterly useless? It wasn't useless? What are you talking about? The trade region of Lahasa. Well, the trade region. I knew that the trade region was useless, but now that I control... Lahore, or the majority of Lahore, I can push Lhasa to Lahore to Samarkand and then just start securing all of Samarkand for myself. Counter espionage on the deckhand. Yeah, uh, Tibet, if you would like any territories in Indonesia, I'm more than happy to nope. transfer nope. some. Uh, uh, honestly, I don't think it would really be helpful or useful to me. My thing okay. that I'm looking at is like expanding across into the Samarkand trade node. Because if I can get Samarkand to trade node, then I can feed Doab, Bengal, Lhasa, Lahore, uh, and Burma, and even Bengal, into Samarkand. And that is nice. Hmm. Two more months and I'm ready to pause. Really, Kilwa? You just took land from Yemen? annoying because then I need to fight Yemen or not fight Yemen I need to siege all the way up to Yemen because they took a fort which then lowers my total war participation multi copper artillery cost plus 20% okay let's see here so we do if, if we wait two months, then I can start annexing Pegu, just so that... I'm fine. Uh, I can... Actually, I can... I'm annexing them right now, so we're good. Okay. If we take Oa to... Save right, then I can build the cool stuff. Why can't I do it? Let's change to coal. Uh, have you oh, 20 development. Okay. Yeah. Race development and 20 development. 
I don't know what Enlightenment. Is. 20 development. Yes. Oh god, this is annoying. So if I have to. Yeah, I'm still waiting on getting uh, getting enough enlightenment. Uh, are you not truly already enlightened, my son? I am enlightened, but I don't have the enlightenment, alas. Just fucking eclipse Bane again. Which is ironic, given it's, you know, Spain. Yeah. Ottomans, still the largest. Because they're the Ottomans. Yeah, the Ottomans have also rivaled me. So I rivaled them. Wait, no, I didn't rival them back, actually. I rifled Tilly instead. Actually, apparently, I, my rivals are uh, Deccan, Ottomans, Delhi, so I did end up. Wait, no, hang on. Sorry, Russia, Deccan, Delhi. Oh my, if I get. If I get, like, a couple more bits of absolutism, I'll actually be... Oh, that's good. why. Oh, I'm a such an idiot. Okay. Ah. Settlement growth. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to stop now. Alright. And... Yeah. Oh, means. What are you doing now, Ottomans? Oh, fighting Darfur and my vassal. Tributary. Oh my god! Guess who has... Who is truly enlightened? You? Roman? I am. Which means, um... Now, I will note, this is a plus one in your capital region. But if anyone needs the enlightenment boosted in their capital region... I got it. I've already got it developing rapidly in my areas. Oh my god, Cole. It's always nice to get a new ruler who is immediately angry at his very existence and is cruel. Mm -hmm. I'm almost 100% Shinto now. Oh, I had the uh, Americas spread to my map, apparently. Actually see the inter internal. When did I lose my... I had 20 discipline before, that's annoying.
you know, game, if you could siege this last fort any quicker, I could probably just end this war. If ifs and buts and something, something, something. <laughs> just be, you know, appreciated. Because now that I'm so close to this and we've pushed for so long, now I kind of want to end my war before we end for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, I'm good to finish up any time now. Same here. Yep, me too. Come on, 78%. There we go. Is that enough? Close to it. I need to kick their army. Do I have? I do. There we go. War over. Take a look at the new glorious Africa. Oh, wow. Hey, Excellent. Africa. Just entirely ignore the fact that that is actually 131% overextension. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a tangy flavor. <laughs> All right. Um, everyone else set? All yep. set. I'll just make a second with uh, the notes build coal. Well, the notes build coal, the notes go to war with Tearhood in two years. Yeah. Building my, my first two furnaces at the moment, which is very good. Hmm. All right, well, I will save the game also, just to be on the safe side. Yes. Aye. To be on the have save side. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm quite happy with that session. Oh, wait, actually, can I, can you just resave it in a moment? Uh, yep. I haven't saved it yet, so let me know when. Good. I forgot about one cool province that I already called province. Yes, I'm now building more cool, and you're ready to save them. We'll see. Ready? It is... I like how Mexican culture only exists well outside of Mexico. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, it's just if you're a what Iberian colonizer. Oh, there. You, nor, uh, regardless of where you go, if you were originally an Iberian nation, you become Mexican. And if you were originally an English nation, you become American. Doesn't matter where. A British nation. Well, American kind of oh, makes sense, uh, but the uh, Mexican does not. Mm. Bra you know. Or Brazilian is a culture, too, for yeah. if you're, Portuguese. If it's in colonial Brazil. Well, Brazil also... It would make more sense if they just had one for colonial region. Yeah, like, the thing is, like, Brazil makes sense because Brazil was, like, a an old term for a promised land. Um, American makes sense because it's, like, the whole Memerico, what was his name? Mexico. The guy who said... Well, yeah. It, Mexico it is like that's still a little Aztecs, so it's like it, uh, okay. It, it makes a, li a little bit less sense for our American culture to form um, in Colombia, for example. But <laughs> well, like um, there was kind of like the Americas were coined by the, the Americo guy, so yeah, yeah, you know. So it's yeah. like uh, that that term originated in Europe, so that kind of makes sense to me. Also, let's not forget uh, the ability to export cultures. So right there in the smack dab of Texas is Moroccan. Yes. I like that. <laughs> There's also some I Moroccans up in the uh, up in the uh, up in your up in your region. What inside me? No. No hobo. Oh. In the upper uh, Missouri, Moroccans up there. Wait, hobo oh. has. Yeah. I think he means in real life. Too. There's the Sicilians. Oh, that, that, that region. Okay, now, yeah, now sorry. I'm, I'm joking about, I, like, you know, Montana area. 
the the interesting thing is how they used to do it is it used to be a boost like you would literally just export the culture and religion to that territory and the territory that you took it away from would get your culture and religion yes rather than the current version of uh it keeps the culture and religion, but uh, it takes some of the development from your land and gives it to your. Uh, yeah, I to the, to the territory you colonize to make it go faster, which sounds silly. I guess it makes sense sometimes, but I would actually um, combine the two and make. Ah, uh, maybe maybe a chance of the culture converting to something else in your. Old Old, the old lands. The whole point yeah. is like ex expel, right? Expel minorities. Um, because the, now it's not. Ex uh, now it's just like, uh, yeah. Why would the British ever ex ever export the Irish like like this, right? Yeah, because no it'll cool. be a problem for the colonial nation to deal with. <laughs> What's yeah? Um, the interest. The interesting and more annoying thing was. Um, what would happen to colonial nations when the AI was doing this when it was first released, much like any, and I mean literally any, uh, feature that Paradox has released, feature. um, it's never balanced for the AI to use it, because they only, pre they only uh, see what happens in the player's hands, such as the infamous charter, when charter companies released... Literally every single nation in Europe would charter literally every single coastal province in Asia. Madagascar was a rainbow. You'd see the Papal State next to the Ottomans. Yeah, like charter companies but, also kind of make sense, but it's it's too easy. Yeah, so they, they um, had to turn it, they literally turned it off for the AI because the AI... Oh, would, God. Because... Literally all the entire coast of India and China would be sold to yeah, I do remember that. anyone from, ha I do from remember that. Hamburg to Livonian Order to Papal State to Ottomans. Literally just a territory for everyone. So it just was, like make it more expensive, like make it in a way that's only feasible for, for nations that it makes sense to get there. But there's a lot of problems there. It, it, it still costs thousands, but if you're, say, Hamburg, and you sit there for 300 years on a, on your territory and not spend any money, yeah. you know? But, uh, I was just a side note example. Um, for expel minorities, you would get Spain expelling everyone from North Amer from North Africa over to the New World, so like uh, Florida would be would barely be any Christian, any uh, Spanish Christians. It would just be a spattering of everyone else. Moorish and it made Florida. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, it was pretty Florida. much that. It's after the end all over again. <laughs> it, was, it, it would it would. It'd be so crazy that even the colonial nations would probably end up becoming Sunni because they would uh, have issues. So I will have to get to bed now. I, yes. I was just wondering, could, could yeah. we quickly take some screenshots? I, um, I how do you? Some, I have taken the map shots. Let me upload them. Oh, cool. Thank you. I'd yeah. just like to see that before I for all of us. Absolutely. Upload a file. There you go. I see Anx is, do Anx is doing quite well in America, it looks like. Yeah. Tibet is just now. a lovely, lovely love. <laughs> With a growing coastline. I know. I can, you can... Keep in mind, uh, a big chunk of the stuff that's my coastline is countries that are tributaries to me. Ah, uh, right. Still, I only have a little bit of coastline. But... Give it time. Give it time. It is really terrifying to tributary Ardabil when they're bordering at Koyunlu, who's allied to the Ottomans. Just saying. Um, I'm I've never that, that, had anyone that, that, get me called in over tributaries. I'm not worried about that, Ardabil. Is that Spain holding some islands that are in the Pacific? I see. I'm yes, sorry. they do. Um, Discussing. Yeah, we still yeah, need Gilbert to Islands, fight. So. We haven't yeah, actually have... built with Spain much. 
Um, Tuvalu and Google owns us. Yeah, we need to, me. <laughs> yeah. we need to uh, get rid of those islands and the islands in the Indian Ocean, as mm -hmm. well as obviously getting me Cape Coast, which is like 200 years overdue. <laughs> mm. My goal is to at least have um, Chinese South Africa locked down, but personally, I quite like, um, at least on the player map mode, how South Africa has turned out. Yeah. So I think if I move my trade capital to Samarkand, yeah, I, I, think, I think that's the move. Oh, uh, that's I think so too, actually. I already I... almost have as much trade value in Samarkand. So if I just like upgrade some of those centers of trade and then start feeding Lhasa to Lahore to Samarkand, I also have tons of control over Yumen. But Yumen can only go in one direction anyways, whereas Lhasa can go several directions, so I want to be careful with where it gets pushed. The sad thing... Well, I guess I can still do Chengdu to Burma to Bengal to Doab to Lahore, but that's kind of ugly. By the way, really quick, I am getting up for a few minutes, so I don't know if you'll still be here when I get back. But I, I will probably finish up at that point since I've posted the images now. No. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, can't wait for next week. I think we only have like two, maybe three sessions. I'd, on say, I'd say three sessions, probably. So, so you usually do about 30 years each. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, goodness, so, so there's only a century left now. Wow. So, uh, yeah, get that golden yeah. avian. Fellas. Yeah, I meant to click on it before <laughs> the Age of Absolutism ended, but then it ended. And... I mean, I can start a golden area right now because you're an emperor, you have a large capital, and you probably have a great leader. I don't. Okay, well, Daft has a parliament. Yeah. And you oh, can yeah. also just get high discipline. What's my discipline at? I, I've at got no idea. percent Sounds pretty high. I, uh, mine is one hundred and seven percent apparently. And let's see, my land force limit is two ninety one right now. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm two five seven, but I, I'm only I'm only using one hundred eighty six. I think that that's uh, an oh, excellent wow. an excellent comparison of how good your land is, despite your compactness. Hmm. Yeah. Although yeah, I remain I mean, very pleased with Tibet's development. Bearing in mind, I, I did take. I do have quantity ideas, so that explains it quite mm -hmm. a bit. But Me but too. yeah, I might, I could potentially have four hundred and fifty nine ships. Uh, that seems pretty I good. I could potentially have twenty five ships. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you must have bought that, surely? Uh, no, that is indeed my ship. Oh wow! You, 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 you yeah, got this, quite a few the biggest development in the world is actually in Tibet at the moment. Yes, yeah. I've been very, very particular about Lhasa being the best place in the world. Anyone <laughs> tries to top me on that, I will fight them. I was actually considering because I can't win the front war and I can't win the income war and I can't win the soon. I can't win the army war. I think I think I have the biggest biggest army in the world at the moment. Uh, total. No, Ottoman still beat me, but, you know. Jesus Christ, Ottoman force limit is... 50% larger than mine, at the very least. No, I'm, I'm not far behind Wasa. My I have a province that's 57. Yeah, yes, me too. I've been, uh, I've been careful to stay a little step ahead, though. Oh, I see. <laughs> because if an, anyone ever shows off that it's bigger, they'll they'll have to get by by sneaking, and then they don't get to advertise it to others. <laughs> but Iggy, you don't have a penis. Uh, <laughs> is is it get there, Khan? Um, Wait, uh, Japan I, again. Would like to point out what exactly is sticking out underneath Bengal. I don't know, uh. but it's uh <laughs> Like it's actually quite gruesome if if that's a penis. I'm looking at like the side of it. I think it, are we are we counting it as an appendage surrounded by water? In which case, you know, Japan has 
Korea, Kamchatka. Yeah, but not a yeah. penis. You've got at least at least four I can see, like uh, yes. California, the uh, Alaskan thing, Kamchatka, and yeah. the Korean Peninsula. Is yeah, you you've got a lot of peninsulas going on there. Uh, yeah, I've got uh, Malaysia, which is not complete yet. I'm still working on that. Um, I'm, I'm unsure how many you have in the Malaccas. I, I don't know if they, they count because they're, they're like quite small. Uh, <laughs> I think it should be at least like it should be connected to a a continent. I would say. I just realized I accidentally had a couple of CD mix on that I did not need to have on. Like North Sulawesi on its own is like two penises. <laughs> I don't think it counts because it's not connected to the mainland. So, yeah, I, I would I, I would only count uh, peninsulas connect, connected to continents. I think that's that's fair. Yeah. You have to you yeah. have to be rigid with this, you know. We have to be <laughs> hard, hard on it. Um. Uh. Do um, uh, does like the whole um, Southeast Asian Peninsula count, and and what about India as well? Is that does that count as a, a penis? I wonder. Yeah, I that's, a, that's a question. This video 